everybody! Hello! Welcome to Kitchen at Best Friends! Where friends don't let friends bake birthday macarons all around! It's my kitchen! Yay! And I'm Amanda. It was my birthday! <laughs> yes, I'm it Kimberly. Was. <laughs> uh, yes, Kimberly's birthday was last Sunday. Yes. And so we thought for today we would bake for her. So Why not? that's what we're doing here today. So I'm just we're gonna, gonna sit make down. Macarons, which if you were here last time we made macarons, which was probably what, a year ago? A year ago at least. At least. Yeah. So we um, famously uh, <laughs> made macarons and we were following a lovely, lovely British recipe from Cupcake Gemma. Perfect Jenna. recipe. Perfect yeah. recipe that we are going to use again today, but we did not think about the fact that that recipe was in Celsius. <clears throat> and so we heated our sugar syrup to 110 degrees Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit, which is not which hot is, enough. <laughs> sometimes the outside is that hot. Yeah. That's how hot my showers are. That is not <laughs> candy. <laughs> so we had to, I mean, we it went fine. It went fine. But, you know, they were a little flat. They were a little, the They're sugar was still grainy when it went into the meringue. So we were like, this doesn't seem right. <laughs> right. But it took us a week it to took realize us a that's what we did. Ago. Oh, whoops. yes. So today we are redeeming ourselves and we are adding a little layer of complexity. We are making them pistachio macarons. Pistachio. Pistachio, which is basically regular macarons, but they've got a little bit of pistachio flour or just ground pistachios yes. instead of all almond flour. If you were going to a store and getting a macaron, what would you get? I never do that. Oh, I never do that. That's my just answer not is a pistachio. Favorite. Okay, great. My favorite. Perfect. I, yeah. Maybe you went to a bakery with a bunch of them. If you went to I would a panic macaron and ask bakery. for a chocolate thing. Oh. I yeah, or maybe a raspberry. But like that's just a I I never used to pursue macarons macarons as a thing. Like yeah. it just would never occur to me. And so I don't know what I like, but I like these. These are so good. Pistachios are my favorite. <laughs> uh, and we're gonna do a pistachio buttercream as a filling. Which, and then there's like a little, we could do like a white chocolate design that was this recipe I found, or we could do whatever we want on top. Yeah, we, we can do whatever we want. We're masters of our own destiny. Here we, we are. We're missing all of the chats. Hi, Nathan. Hello, everyone. Hi, Chicks. Hi, Hi Nathan. Hi, Mary. Hi, everybody. Hi, Mary. Hi, Tomato. Beautiful feeling. Yes. Um, oh, my gosh. Hi, everybody. Okay, great. So we oh, are, sweet. yes, we are very excited about this. We have prepped a little bit more than we usually do just because it's macarons. And this recipe in particular is a lot of like, do this thing at this time. So it's, they are challenging, but they are not unsurmountable. We got this. I have faith in us. Yeah. 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 We're going to do great. We can do it. <laughs> so, welcome. Happy Saturday. We both had an adult beverage last night. We did. And feeling have... fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had like one. It was like I had two. a glass of wine and I'm like, mm, my head hurts. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> Which is I'm like, my belly hurts. I had two glasses of wine and a pizza. So sorry. Well, I'm going to well, steal my coffee back from over here. All right. So, First step here, we are going to we have uh, ground and sifted. This is powdered sugar, almond flour, and pistachio flour. Which pistachio flour? Just ground pistachios. Yeah. Fun fact. It's just, uh, it's not like flour. <laughs> also, a fun flour. Fact. Just ground up almonds. It's I just, mean, it's just nut bits. It's marketing. It's just nut bits. Oh no. It's nut sand. Yeah, which we sifted real nice for us so that it's nice and smooth. But we had to make sure that we didn't do too much food processing because if you do that, I learned, you release the oils. Wow. And then the that's oils. like extra fat oh. into <laughs> into with like the egg whites and that things makes sense. separate. I know. Very interesting. Um, I guess that's how you make like a nut butter and it separates into a... Oh, oil. yeah, totally. Okay, great. Well, there you now have it. Uh, other fun the fact. you know. <laughs> I uh, ground pistachios in my kitchen, and I said to Adam, who was walking right behind me making a peanut butter sandwich, like, honey, big noise. And then I pressed the button, and he went, jeez! Like, it just, he freaked out. And I was like, that, I told you big noise. And he's like, that was a scream. That was not just a big noise. Like, because it was a very, like, dramatic, like, first noise. <laughs> just crap out of him. I felt so bad. Poor sweet boy. <laughs> so anyway, uh, pro tip, if you are going to ground pistachios in your home, just like, make I everyone know, aware. Make everyone aware that there's going to be a big scream of a noise, not just a big noise, because that initial, like, scream is when, when they just initially, like, whew, very stressful. Yeah. Uh, Gettysburg, thank you for the subscription Woo-hoo! for six months. Thank you. I got oy, oy, oy. a two-year, like, memory popped up the other day. It was us? It was us. It was two years, two years? Wow. Uh, Kate, there was not jelly on the sandwich. That is that is just sacrilege right there. It's just peanut butter. Classic. Which, I'll be honest, 
when Adam and I like have gone, like when we would go on the bus to go to DC to visit his parents, mm-hmm. and he would make me a peanut butter sandwich. Nothing tasted better. I don't know why. He does a very good job. He does do a very good job. This is what I'm saying. Jake gets it. peanut butter on I know. a sandwich. I, I don't have, like, logic for it. It just tastes really good. All right. So, you know. Great. Take that as you will. And um, just, like, what kind of bread does he use? I don't like peanut butter and jelly it sandwiches. It's my one main thing I don't like. nature's own. Oh, sure. Yeah. Which is, like, a very nice, gentle, like, it's not white bread, but He it's, doesn't toast it. No. I think if I have peanut butter and jelly, it has to be toasted bread. Interesting. Because or else is a. I think you have the wrong bread then. Oh. Hmm. Like what? Yeah. Well, maybe know. experiment. <laughs> Ooh, not Dave. Jelly I once girl. got Earl Grey macarons. Oh yeah. Huh? Aw. <laughs> and then he said the secret ingredient is love. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I love a peanut butter and honey sandwich. Ooh. Uh, you know what? I love a peanut peanut butter and honey. I like toasted. That's funny. Because peanut butter and jelly, I like. Just sort of straight. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't it get stuck to your mouth? Yeah, but I don't mind that. Oh. I have a glass of milk and then it's just all That's well. fair. Yeah. You need the glass of you milk. You need a glass of milk. Oh, yeah. I don't like it just sort of as as is. Yeah. Did he also bring you milk on the bus? No, he didn't. But I'm realizing now that it still tasted great. It, it's I don't know. It really, I don't know. You're right. It must be the love. <laughs> it must be the love. Oh, Uncrustables. Yes. Mm. I used to, like, covet those. We never got them in my family. <laughs> my mom had... An Uncrustable maker, because she went to many a Pampered Chef party. <laughs> okay. And it was just like a little thing that you put on a sandwich and you it would take the like crust crimp off. The... Yeah, it would crimp okay. the edges. That's cute. But I would, or, I would have a turkey and cheese Uncrustable. Like I would not That's eat That's really funny. A peanut butter Aww. and jelly. That's really cute, though. We yeah. do. Okay, my sister used to... Okay, I'm going to tell this one quick anecdote, and then we got to get baking, because this is America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, my sister mm-hmm. used to take the rolling pin. She would cut all the crust off of her bread. She would roll it out flat. Peanut butter, jelly, roll it up. Delicious. It was so good. Which sister? The chef? No. Just wow! The doctor. Ha! Plot twist. Did you ever <laughs> just take a piece of bread and mush it up into a ball and eat the ball? No. I did that a lot. <sighs> Missing out. Okay, that sounds great. <laughs> anyway, all right. So here's, here's what we got. So we've got sifted together. This is powdered sugar, almond flour, pistachio flour. And it is ready for half of the egg whites. So we're going to go half of the egg whites in here, and we're going to mix together the paste. And I don't think we should do it with this. I think we should do it with that. Okay, great. Um, half of the egg whites. So I'm going to go bloop. And you're going to start mixing. And I'm also going to get our food coloring, because that also goes in at this stage. And we don't want to overmix, because once again, egg the oils will leak out of the stuff, the nutty things. Okay, we said green, right? Nutty things. The nutty things. The nut, nut bits. Yeah, green. Pistachios. Oh, I mean, and also Kimberly Spritz. Yeah. All right. I'm going to just... Boop, 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 boop. And we want it to look a little garish from a color perspective because the egg whites are going to make it a lot paler. I did it with a gel food coloring instead of a droplets, but... I think I could probably do. Yeah. Oh yeah, I threw out my gel food coloring because. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, <laughs> it had become a disaster. So <laughs> it's like this big bag of like sticky. <laughs> wow, some people live in the Uncrustables high life. <laughs> Lol. In my family, we call that a jar top. A jar top. That's interesting. Because you use a jar top to like to do mash it, mash it down. That's clever. Huh? They expect sushi, fancy sandwiches, and other unique things. Wow, that's made up. Have you seen that little kid on, I think it's TikTok, that like the dad Who does his like, own hibachi? No, but I'm very interested. Play hibachi kid. It's so cute. <laughs> so cute. Okay, no. This is this kid. It's like a little toddler, mm-hmm. and his dad is a like gourmet chef, and he'll like ask the kid what he wants, and he'll be like... Blackened salmon with Brussels sprouts. <laughs> and then the dad makes it for him, and this kid has the like most sophisticated palate I've ever seen. That looks perfect. Okay, great. Um, I will never forget to the camera. one of the first so times green. I babysat for a three-year-old in New York City. Uh-huh. And the mom was just like, okay, and here's some money to order in. He likes sushi. So we ordered sushi. She's for like, three? get whatever. Yeah, a three-year-old. Like, get whatever you want, and then he likes... Um, brown rice salmon rolls, um, and they'll just ask them. I mean, they'll know the number if you call from the house, 
but ask them to cut it in kid sizes. So they cut like one roll into 16 instead of eight. Oh my basically. God. Okay. And then he loved it. Wow. All right. What'd you say? I'm sure he will. Oh, hope your kid likes these sweet guests. Yeah. Well, but also, maybe not because sushi's not ain't cheap. It ain't no. cheap, no. I want sushi, Daddy. We're not ready to run it yet. <laughs> That was always the treat with my family. Sushi? Sushi, yeah. So, like, uh, on the, the big celebrations, like, sushi was the thing we would get. My dad now gets grocery store sushi as a treat. For I himself. get grocery store sushi. Yeah. Sushi all the time. Delicious. It's just, you know, it's grocery store sushi. 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 All right. Is that so. baby still asleep? Mm -hmm. This is granulated It's been a two-hour nap. Oh, good boy. All right, so granulated sugar, there's 190 grams in there. We've got 60 milliliters of water in a baby bottle. Yeah, <laughs> and a pump bottle, in fact. That Perfect. Is. All right, so I'm putting that in there, and we're going to heat that up, and we are going to heat it to 230 degrees Fahrenheit. That sounds more correct. That's more correct. Okay, wait, I always panic about this. Hold on, like that? This is the right one. Yeah, and then high. Do you need it high? No, that would Mediums. Mediums good. We'll give it a little mix. Um, yeah, you got it. All right. Then we're going to keep it on the temperature. And then when it gets to 230 degrees, we're going to start the mixer with the other half of the egg whites. So this is 72 more grams of egg whites going into the mixer. And that is going to get frothy by the time we reach 245 degrees Fahrenheit with the sugar syrup. And then we're gonna take that off the heat and then slowly pour it into the egg whites and let that mix for like five to seven minutes. So this is the Italian meringue, which uh, this recipe from Cupcake Gemma, I've actually like blended together with this other <laughs> recipe that poor Kimberly oh. prepped the other one. <laughs> Whoops, as I didn't communicate. But uh, <laughs> the other one uses a- I was like, why did she? I was like, she sent me the recipe and then she also typed it out. That was kind of, I don't know why she did that. Yeah. Well, because that other recipe made way fewer macarons and had a totally different ratios. And used a, that's a French meringue, right? Over the, mm. with the thing? It's not what right. kind of meringue is that? Where you put it over, is it, what's a bon marie? Yeah. Uh, and then you whip the egg whites on top of the heat, basically. French. I think it's a I'm French meringue. Good. I've never done it that way. Because I think my hand mixer is still here. It is! <laughs> Um, so, yeah, so is, is that a French ring? Confirm for us. Uh, do, do, do. <laughs> Growing up on the western slope of Colorado, I still have trust issues with seafood. Gettysburg, listen, I grew up in Colorado, and uh, sometimes you just take the risk, because sushi's delicious. I hate fish, but ever since vegan sushi became a thing. Oh, vegan sushi. Oh, yeah. Not I love that. a sweet potato roll. There's a place oh, downtown yeah. that doesn't make... Oh, Mary, in Colorado, in Denver? That's interesting. Kate says, I hate sushi. Walmart sushi is pretty cheap. Oh, I don't know if I would go full Walmart. Good to know, Mary. I have, a, I have a vegan friend that would probably be very all about that. I will let them know. Okay. All right, so it's at 95 degrees. <laughs> Why would we Almost ever ready. think that this? It happened. We both were what? like, that happened so fast. Wow, it really heated up so quickly. Why my oven oh. is just so hot. We didn't, we didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> it is currently at 96 degrees, so we are going to, this is probably going to take like five minutes. 96 degrees. Yeah. 98 degrees. 98 degrees, that's the one. <laughs> what was your favorite, like, late 90s, early 2000s band? O-Town. <laughs> <laughs> no contest. Oh my god, you answered so fast, I love it. That was so funny. What was yours? Uh, mine was Blink-182. Oh, I sure. was really into, you know, the, the like... Uh, with the glove and the, the hot lady on the front cover. Oh, that yeah, album. I had that album. Loved that album. And that was one of those albums where, like, the end had a secret song. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, my gosh. Spooky in the middle of the night. Spooky, spooky. <laughs> um, yeah, I love Blink-182. I I was a big New Found Glory Good Charlotte fan. Okay. I had a crush on a boy that was a big Good Charlotte fan, and I tried to get into it to impress him, and mm. then I mixed up that band with another band, and it like ruined everything. No. <laughs> I was like trying to like be like, oh yeah, and this song and this song. And he was like, that's not good Charlotte. And I was like, oh no. Right, don't be precious about good Charlotte. He was he was a little pretentious. We were like 13, yeah, to be yeah, fair. Yeah. And good Charlotte, I feel like was mm. like when we were in middle school, ah. was like a harder 
emo band. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, B says not French meringue, Swiss meringue. Swiss. Swiss. French but meringue. But this is Italian. But this is Italian. So, you know, here we are. Okay. We're meringue. <laughs> yeah, Gettysburg. No hesitation. Oh, town. Yes, thank you. That's made up. <laughs> and Ozone was made on a reality show. Like I think they were the first season of making the band. Was Ozone? Oh, oh my god! I completely forgot yeah. about that. Oof. What an era. <laughs> Ashley Parker, Angel Ooh. Baby. Dave says the cranberries. That's also a fun. Oh, band. Jay loves the cranberries. <laughs> Amazing. Um. Yeah, Ashley Parker, Angel of Ozone fame. Uh, as a Broadway boy. Yeah. Oh. That's our baby bird. I think. I know. Okay. Did they, Evie? We've he had a good was, nap. And, yeah, that was like exactly two hours. He wants to share his favorite band with us. What do you think, yeah. what do you think his music taste is going to be like? He I guess currently really loves Taylor Swift. So. Amazing. Excellent taste. She really calms him down. <laughs> We've been watching the Eras tour most mornings with him. Oh, interesting. I never realized that. Mad Tomato says cooked fish by acidic juice. That's what ceviche is. Yeah. I never knew that. I yeah. didn't realize that, that was, that's how that was prepared. Yeah, it's in like lemon juice, right? Huh. Or vinegary. That, I mean, it's like cured. Makes sense, but that's fascinating. Okay, that's 139, 142? 140, okay, 150. Huh? Okay, it's starting to happen. We're going to get ready. Things are happening. Things are happening. All right. So we also have prepared. So macarons are the kind of thing where like you want to have everything just sort of ready to go because things start to happen fast. So... That's going. These are piping bags prepared for when we're going to do sugar syrup into the egg whites. That's going to like whip up real nice. Then we're going to basically fold it in. Fold it oh. in, David. <laughs> uh, and then get it to a uh, ribbon, like figure eight stage. And then we're going to pipe it onto the trays and then let it sit. Do we need to be frothing these egg whites? No, no, no. That's, okay. So it, when it gets to 2.30, then we yeah. start the mixer. Okay. And then 2.45 is when we take the sugar. I off. see. So okay. like the froth is supposed to happen in that window from 2.30 to 2.45. We'll see. <laughs> and then we'll make a bottle. All right, guys. So this is how you make a bottle. You take <laughs> a bottle. And you make it. Is my stuff in the way? No, no you're fine. Okay. Ah, you're in the way. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, mistakes, mistakes. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I was what happened? Just, I was like this, so I was like on. It was like leaning on my hip, and I tried yeah. to do a high kick, but I wasn't like the correct orientation of my hip, so it was just this like twisty thing. Very painful. Okay, Mistake. so so we are slowly weaning off of the breast milk. So we put a little in there, about two ounces. So, you know. Mm -hmm. Measure to taste. <laughs> you know. You're going to taste it? No. No. <laughs> no. Has, never, will, never. Hmm. Not not into it. Fair not, enough. She's offered, but I have said nay nay. <laughs> it's pretty good. And then you fill yeah. to seven ounces with the formula. With uh, the FML uh, Gentle Ease. Nice. We're at 210. Yeah. And then you sous vide. Um, for a slow heat. <laughs> oh, Matt Tomato says, I miss making bottles and changing diapers. <laughs> this oh. is KBF Dad Edition. Yeah. What is the band? Did you know people microwave bottles? Like, my mom was like, well, that's why you're not supposed to microwave it because it gets, like, hot pockets or something. And I was like, yeah. People microwave it? That doesn't surprise me. Well, we, we sous vide here because we're fancy. Pinky's yeah. up everywhere. I mean, I used to do it in, like, with the uh, like pan on the stove. Yeah. That's and then hot water in sure. there. Yeah. Right, um, I'm, I'm go Dave says, what is the band or performer people would not expect you to be a fan of? Uh, I'm a huge Alanis Morissette fan. I expected that from shocking. you. That's not a surprise. Oh, that's not surprising? No, uh, not at all. But also, I know you very well. Jay's a fan of Alanis Morissette. Is that surprising, everybody? How close to 19. Oh my god! What's happening? Um, I don't know what people would be surprised by. I feel like you are the kind of person... That nothing about your tastes surprises me because you are so considered. Like, there's, you know what I mean? Like, you you don't just like a thing to like a thing, but, like, you tend to, like, really make up your mind about stuff. And so I trust you to have taste. Do you know what I mean? Like, I trust you to just, like, have yeah. particular tastes and have reasons. And so nothing that you would say would actually make me surprised. Whereas I love bluegrass, but I don't think that's surprising. <laughs> no. Uh, 218, what are we looking for? 230. Okay. But we are getting there. 
Okay. Do, do, do. Cooked in a large amount of lime juice. We're still talking ceviche. It also includes tomato, onion, cilantro, and some form of spice or pepper. Uh -huh. Fascinating. Mary says a baby will be part of my family again in August. Oh, boy. Fun. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, and uh, you know what? I never know how to say your name. I'm so sorry. T-H-A-E-S-I-M-I-R. How do you say that? They, they, the Samir. The Samir. Oh. Our due date oh, is in August, yeah. too. Congratulations. Congratulations to you as well. That's very exciting. Wow. Nephew and his girlfriend are expecting. Not me, thank goodness. <laughs> that jump from 2.30 to 2.45 might take just as long. Interesting. Good well, I mean, we're just supposed to, like, start frothing the egg whites and getting them to a place where they're yeah. about ready. I don't know that it has to be... <sighs> Yeah, I think the idea is that we just want the, uh, when we start adding the sugar syrup, we want the egg whites to have a little bit of structure, but yeah. they don't need to be so like they're not surprised. Structured. <laughs> yes, and then while the, the sugar syrup is cooking the egg whites, ultimately, it just has yes. to do so slowly so that we don't get little, like, clumps of things, I think. I had a stint of working on listening to country to impress my now wife, and now I'm back to weird metal mostly. That's wonderful. Um, gosh, I, one of my best friends whose birthday was yesterday, so one of my Colorado friends, um, is really into the band Ghost. Have you heard about them? No. They are, basically it's, it's like metal, but really performative and like storytelling. And if there's anybody else in this world, it's, it's Baha loves Ghost. Okay, great. So she was telling me about them and like basically how... Uh, this whole community is is so invested in this story and the the lore behind all of it, and it's just all very like theatrical and interesting. And I that was something like I've known her since I was eleven. That blew me out of the freaking water. I had no like when I first saw like pictures of them and like you know heard their music, I was like, you're obsessed with this band? What? It blew my mind. Um, I don't think I've ever surprised anybody with any of my tastes because I'm too wishy-washy about everything. I can, get <laughs> I can get talked into or out of anything, and I like most stuff. There's yeah. very little that I have strong opinions on. Ooh, don't love Miley Cyrus. Okay. And, like, that's not fair. It's not about anything. It's just something about her style of music I just don't like. And so when it pops up, I'm always like, mm, I love that. But, like, that's notable for me because most music I just like. I used to really, like, not like Taylor Swift. Oh, Yeah. And no, now you're converted. Yeah. Okay, that's looking. Two twenty eight. Oh my god. Two twenty nine. I'm doing it. Two thirty. Go. Ha ha. Okay. <laughs> Electric cowboy is absolutely phenomenal. Is that part of the go of ghost? The ghost. I just had such an elderly moment. <laughs> the part of the ghost. The ghost. Ghosts are awesome. Two thirty three. Okay. Good. <laughs> Moore says there is so much lore. Yeah, she was telling me about it. I was, I was fascinated. Nat and I went to a restaurant once and saw pistachio pasta on the menu. It did not oh. end well. Oh, no. Oh, I love that. We had hazelnut pizza last night. Ooh. Which is fancy pizza. Was it like place. Nutella? No. Oh. It was, um, she, we have there's some more. I'll try some. It was that like roasted great. hazelnuts. Interesting. It was really good. I mean, I used to work at Max Brenner, and we would do like a Nutella chocolate pizza. That was very good. Yeah, it was like a savory Hi, hazelnut pizza. Boy. Hi, little boy. Hi, sweet boy. Did you have a good nap? Yeah. You yeah. hanging out with Foxy Lady? Foxy Lady. Oh, oh boy. Oh. 2.40. 2.40. Whoop. Now what? It's time. 2.45 is, is okay. when it's time. Yeah, we're good. So this is starting to froth. Oh, we're we're in your business. I'll let you know. 242. Different band, German, it's electronic metal. You should watch their music videos. So good. Interesting. Weirder, I love Miley Cyrus as a performer artist who overcame her child stardom by breaking all the rules and ascending above her dad's favorite name, but just don't like her singing voice. Gary, that's exactly it. That's exactly it. Absolute respect for her, respect for people who like her. Her singing voice drives me insane, and I don't know. It's just it's something about it. it just like greats. I mean, it's not. I'm, my, my love of Katy Perry is so much. Yeah. Katy Perry. I love Katy Perry. Firework, when that music video came out, I watched that 9,000 times. That was like a little... Okay, here we go. We're going to slowly pour in along the side of the bowl. So just 
real slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Slower? No, no, I think that's good. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, this is fun. I'm doing the show. It's happening. It's all happening. So now we let that go for about five to seven minutes. And hopefully it will whip up real nice. And then we will mix it in with our paste and pipe it onto baking trays. And we are good to go. Perfect. Okay, great. Okay. Whew, breathing. We did it. We did it. We watched the, the things. Um, okay. Stressed. Adele has a similar vibe for me. I can objectively acknowledge her talent and skill, but I do not like her songs. Okay. Yeah, totally okay. fair. Ghost is like the illegitimate spawn that came along nine months after ABBA and Kiss went into a satanic adult party. <laughs> That's exactly the vibe. And my friend oh. Katie is like a very, she loves, you know, she loves some dark things. Like, she's, she's a little goth, but, like, it really surprised me that she was very into it. <laughs> Dave says, I can't hear the word baby without thinking of Shit's Creek and the line, but David, what about the baby? Yes. Yeah. That's a cute baby. Um, oh, Gary says to us, Jay. Yeah. Have either of you watched Delici Delicious in the Dungeon on Netflix yet? Hysterical D&D &D anime. That's my new favorite to watch while snuggling Bellatron. I think Adam is trying to get me to watch that. He says, I'm not usually a big anime fan, but the writing and D&D &D references make it a thousand percent worth it. Oh, that's good. I have not watched it, but would love to. That sounds great. Is it also a cooking show if it's Delicious in the Dungeon? <laughs> Roll for flavor. It's looking glassy. You do this. Yes, we did it. Ha, ha, ha. It's about cooking monsters that they find in the dungeon. Okay, what? good. That's fun. Oh, God. That's awesome. I have been listening to Dungeons and Daddies, which is my favorite D&D &D content of late. It is delightful. <laughs> Highly recommend. It's a podcast, uh, and it is not D&D... &D Proper. Are they, are they daddies or daddies? Yes. <laughs> um, no, the bit is that they are stereotypical dads, like, uh, you know, like the real football dad and the, like, business dad and the, like, rocker, you know, rock star dad. Like, it's just, they have, like, personas, but then they get thrown into the Forgotten Realms and, and are, like... D&D &D <laughs> tropes as well like and it's and they have to like go find their lost sons it is a the the biggest like way I can sort of describe it is they do uh damage psychic damage for every dad joke and like they are comedians all and they're not very good at D&D &D and don't necessarily like honor the true rules of D&D &D, but it's a very good storytelling podcast what do you mean Oh, you looked like you needed something. You had that, like, you know, you know when you're sitting at a... I kind of have to sneeze. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I should, was deciding if I should go and try and sneeze. I mean, I'm good. You can do whatever you want. You guys have, both have the face of, like, someone's being weird in chat. Nope. Oh, okay. No. Uh, forgot to tell you I made peppermint whoopie pies for my D&D group last oh, Sunday. Yummy. Yeah, I love them. Yum. Yeah, the Dadlands one-shots from McElroy's live shows are just like that. DM yeah. by Brennan Lee Mulligan. They're so goofy and fun. Yeah, those are fun. Hey, Michelle Green Bean. Thank you for 23 oh months. 23! Wow. Hi. What? That's so Hello. funny. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Rewatching previous chapters of Ken... Candela Obscura at the moment. I only I, I only gave so much attention span to watch things with such run, long run times. That's fair. That's fair. You yeah. guys should watch Dairy Girls. Oh, I've heard you know, of Dairy I've Girls. I've tried to watch Dairy Girls. Yeah. And I don't know why I Got couldn't get into it. I think it was the same 
as Fleabag, I have a hard time if I don't like any of them. Yeah. To continue to watch their story. Fair enough. What like did the, you? How did you do with Shit's Creek then? Because it was so over the top and silly, okay. it was fine. Interesting. Yeah, because I have trouble with that too. But like Fleabag, I was just like, "You're horrible." <laughs> I will not continue. Suits, Kimberly. How do you feel about the suits? That's different. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying and looking so good. Yeah. I'm so proud of us. <sighs> I've been so nervous. <laughs> I finished Suits, everyone. For better oh, you did finish? I finished Suits. And? What's your verdict? Well, she just had to go be a princess and leave the storyline. Oh, my God. <laughs> That was not what I was expecting. Well, the last two seasons, the the two like main characters leave because Meghan Markle went to be a princess. Oh, I forgot. Okay, I thought you meant the storyline was. Oh, that she went and to go be a princess. She went to go be no, a princess, no, no, no. and I was like, that is not what I thought that show was about. In real okay, life. got it, got it, got it. Yes. <laughs> Matt, to me, no, like, Gary, I did not stop at season now. seven because I love Dulé Hill, and I will follow him into the ends of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> And he showed up on the show, and I was like, adequate replace. <laughs> I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, he's got Oliver's turkey sword. Yeah. Oh, hi, Barbara. Oh, want to watch The West Wing? We're not quite there yet, but, I, but it's... It's brewing. It's brewing. Oh, hi, we'll go see our friends. Hi, Barbara. Hi, little bird. I just got a big smile from the baby. <laughs> Barbara. Yeah, Gary, they're not good, but I powered through. <laughs> All right? Just to see Donna happen. Barbara also endorses Dairy Girls. Oh, Knitting. I've seen like a couple clips and it made me laugh. Oh, love psych. Again, mm. we'll follow Dulé Hill. <laughs> yeah. he, is a, he is a television maker. We're following the Alright, let's take okay, a look. This was six minutes. I mean, that's about the amount of time. Let's turn it off and pull it up and just sort of see. I mean, glossy and floppy. That's what we want. Yeah. Ha ha! We've done it. We've lost and we've flopped. <laughs> All right. So now, now, what do we do? We're going to scoop a little bit of it into here so we can like loosen it up. Okay. And then we're going to do a light folding. <laughs> Are you going to bring it over here? Yeah, it's probably better. Yeah. I'm trying to get the... <laughs> Gary, off the whisk. Gary says, I was not into dairy girls. I thought there'd be more cows and milk. Oh, Gary. Oh, <laughs> Gary. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> Dumb. Uh, I'm rewatching Ted Lasso. Ooh. Oh, excellent choice. Ooh, Gary, watch White Collar and tell me that show isn't why oh, suits work. I love White Collar. I love White Collar. White, the main character from White Collar is Gary. Oh, yeah, that was the thing. Yeah. He totally. works everywhere. Ugh, Matt Bomer. Yeah, Gary, just be a Big crush time. Everybody in that show can get it. Man, oh, man. <laughs> oh, I know. Dave he'd be says, so good at it. He'd be really good at it. <laughs> Dave says uh, Jay and Kim should do a Gilmore Girls rewatch. <laughs> uh, Here's the thing. That's one of the first things we binged as a couple because Jay had oh. never seen it. And he was like, wait, they're funny. <laughs> <laughs> they are funny. They're yeah, also a little bit insufferable. Like, like well, we've been together 10 years, so oh, <laughs> every once in a while we watch through Gilmore Girls. <laughs> Alright, so oh, give me a second to. Oh, yeah! Huh. <laughs> All right, die. All right. Here you are. So for this initial mix, you can be vigorous, and then you're supposed to be very gentle. And basically, like, yeah, maybe a little bit more. Can you go like that? This is rather <laughs> sticky. It is rather yeah. sticky. Oh, yeah, I've never watched Burn Notice, but I think Brian loves that show, doesn't Brian he? Brian loves Burn Notice. And Royal Pains. And Royal Pains. <laughs> All right, we're ready. Yeah, what's a show people wouldn't think that you like? Oh. Uh. I think we can just throw all of it in there and then okay. start yeah. just like folding. That became a catchphrase in me and Brian's friendship because the amount of times he would try to bring Sarah! Up... Hi! Hi! All right. Do we need to preheat the oven? Uh, no, we do not because, because we they have, have to let them rest. Yeah. yeah, the only thing I'd be worried about doing right now is prepping the piping bags and we don't actually have to do that. We did it already. Because we're very smart. It's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> really killing it over here. We're doing so good. All right, so I'm doing a fold. USA, they know funny. They know funny. <laughs> it was TBS, right? What? I don't 
I don't remember. <laughs> Apparently, I made up a catchphrase that no, no I think network that's a catchphrase. had. You want to? Is that what you were? Yeah. Was that a burp from the boy over there? Yeah. Good boy. Mm, it's a burp. Aren't we glad we don't have to do that anymore? Yeah. To burp to baby. Yeah. I think Suits was USA first. Did it move that somewhere else right. then? I know only season nine was on Peacock. Everything else is on Netflix. Yeah, I think another mm-hmm. network bought it. Oh. Canceled. Well, and now, of course, they're like, we should reboot because everyone's been binging it on Netflix. Ah. And then they'll reboot it for like a hot second and then cancel it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> or just go to a different uh, city. Feel like, like suits I mean, I would love for them to like find them in Seattle because that's where they all ended up. Well, not all, not Lewis. Um, but that would include Meghan Markle, and she's a princess mm. or a duchess, right? Mm. Or technically nothing, but <laughs> title alone. Mm. All right. So what we're doing now is we are gently folding. In a J shape. In a J. Is this a J shape? That's what that says. Do like down oh. around. Yeah. Down around. Like a J. Like a J. Yeah. That's exactly what it's like. <laughs> uh, and then the goal is to get it to a point where it ribbons off. So obviously Not nowhere yet. near. <laughs> this took me like a solid three or four minutes oh. when I did it. If you, your arm needs a rest, we it can might. switch. You want to do a switchy? Yeah. Oh, oh. Sorry. It's okay. We need a re- we need Renegade and Pacific Blue reboots on Netflix ASAP. I didn't watch it. I don't know what either of those are. Mm-mm. I need to check out Black Sails. Oh, I've heard of that either. That's the pirate show. Bluey. Bluey, I've heard of excellent things. Yes, me too. I'll get there in a year or two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Matt, Matt Bomer is not a human being. He's an angelic being. He's an inhumanly good looking, yes. Yeah. We saw a picture of him and his husband and went, oh, he's handsome. Not a celestial being, but handsome. Ah, uh, fair enough. I, I don't think I know what his husband looks like. But Me either. He is. They have like five woman. kids. I know that. My goodness. Kids. That's so many children. Yeah, they have a lot of kids. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> that's so, that must be nice. I just, that stresses me out thinking about it. He's got money to have five kids. I know. Money, you have money. That's right. true. Right, bud? Yeah. 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 And I certainly won't do it five times. No. Maybe we won't. Okay. <laughs> Jane's over there looking for a surrogate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't say sir. I said maybe we, you know. Oh, find a baby. I see what you I mean. Think, I think that's, that, that's what I've been thinking. Maybe we don't yeah. have a second one. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That was cute. <laughs> Matt Bomer and Jonathan Bailey, they started a movie together and it was amazing. Amazing. Mm, that sounds handsome. He got the shaft over uh, coming out when he did. Really? Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't realize he got like in trouble for coming out or got like it just, bad. It, it just was, was the time of it, intolerance it was, you know, and stupidity. What are you doing, boy? <laughs> casual acrobatics mm-hmm. all right so that is now like shoe pastry stage so we're getting there we're really close how's your arm it's okay okay <laughs> well, my hand's getting sticky oh here you watch <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll step in you wash your hands it's too damn bad it's too damn bad <laughs> yeah and i'll load the piping bags too because okay. there's no way to avoid this no. <laughs> moment they just didn't want a gay Superman. What a bummer. They didn't, but I, I mean, love Henry Cavill's Superman. incredible. Yeah. Yeah. There's a show. I loved the Tudors. Henry Cavill's in the first season. All right. So that's Not like quite. dropping yeah. into V shape, which is shoe pastry. We're going to get to a place where it's ribbon, and then we're going to be able to do a figure eight in the thing, and it'll stay on top for like a couple of seconds. Went for a different great hair, blue eyed actor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then Matt Bomer got to do, um, oh, what was that play that only made it a movie? It was very good. It's on Broadway. I have no idea. About the friends. It's in the apartment. 
Can you call friend? No. Nope. <laughs> I was. Who was that we watched it for Broadway stairs? Not Broadway. The boys in the band. The boys in the band. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. I didn't see uh, it. Here, would you cut me a Dave says, since you're doing a J shape, are you taking the time to make the outline of a little baseball cap? Yes. <laughs> good question. Mm -hmm. The answer is no. <laughs> no, stop her. <laughs> I don't know why that tickles me so much. I love it. Making you, making you laugh makes me so happy, Jay. Well, I, am, you know, I am a delight. What can I say? You are. You want it? There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. He's learned how to drink out of a straw. Oh, cute. it's cute. just the cutest thing in the world. Oh, just wait until uh, he's <laughs> a little bit older <laughs> and doing messing with foods and then stuffs those foods inside said straw. No! The grossest thing I've ever seen. I was feeding my nephew... Oh, was, oh, what was it? It was like lasagna, and he starts stuffing it inside the straw. And then sucking like, it out of the straw? Yes. <laughs> it was the grossest thing. Wait, are they doing Suits LA? Will star Arrow's oh. Stephen Amell? Oh, no. Star Trek style spinoff. I don't know. Thank you, Gary. I don't know that reference, but. I know Jay calls thing. himself they a did Star Trek LA. Just different shit. Universe. Jay. Yeah? Uh, I know Jay calls himself a sorcerer all the time, but I think he's got a few levels of bard mixed in. Yeah, you definitely multi-classed. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's only for vicious mockery. <laughs> Historical pirates. That sounds oh, fun. come on, dude. Come on, brother. It's under your feet. I know. In front. Between your legs. Amanda, Black Sails is a loose prequel to Treasure Island Historical Pirates. Love. That sounds right <laughs> up my alley. <laughs> and yes, Super Chats are, that's where Jay's BFA musical theater really shines. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. In being a bard. Oh, yeah. It's hard to be a bard. Yeah. There was a song last night in the... So I, I went to a show last night called Shit's Probe, which if you are in the city, in New York... It where do they perform? Is the it the asylum. Magic? Oh, the asylum. Yeah, where the old UCB. Yeah. Uh, and it's a show that is an improvised musical, and they have a Broadway guest star every time that's not done musical improv. Yeah. And so they basically say, you're the star of the musical, and then the rest of them, like, support them. And they did this amazing <laughs> musical last night that they got the title from the audience. Okay, Ooh, starting to rip yeah. it. Uh, and the title was Murder on the Dance Floor, and it was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the star was uh, Nicole somebody. I can't remember her last name right off the top of my head, but she plays Celine Dion in Titanic on Broadway right now. So she literally, like, went down there after her show. It was a 10 p.m. show. Uh, it was so incredible. It was so much fun, and I brought it up because of a thing. What were we just talking about? A song that made you laugh when I said it's hard to be the bard. Oh, yes. So around. her whole her whole thing was that she was, like, wanting to get into Juilliard. And so she she so brilliantly was like, it's not hard getting in Juilliard. And, like, made it so, and it was just, like, the rhyming. It was so beautiful and so incredibly. Ribbons? I mean, that's really close. I think we could go just a little bit. Okay. Looser. Hilarious hard-rolling pirates show. Love, I love all of those words. Because I need to be able to like draw the figure eight without it breaking. Mm -hmm. That's almost. Like it. <laughs> one more, one more. <laughs> He's so quietly playing. Little boy. <laughs> Hi over there. Are you finishing your milk? Yeah, he's having a good time. <laughs> okay. Whoa, that was a big noise. Alright, do you want to bring over the uh, cookie trays? Fans? Yeah. Fans? Oh, just broke. <laughs> what is the word? Cookie trays. Are you having 
so much fun. We'll say this. Mm -hmm. We need more room between them than we think. Okay. I had them run into each other multiple times. And it Great. <laughs> so I made these a couple of weeks ago for my friend Hannah for her birthday. She's the one I made the soup cake for last year. Soup. Soup. And she requested pistachio macarons. So I was, that's like where I sort of developed this idea or this recipe, this, you know, compilation of things. God. It's so close, it's just not quite right. <laughs> uh, no, that's right. There it is. Okay, yeah. we're ready. All right, so anyway, the uh, I made these for her, and she, I baked a lot for her in the years. She said this was the best thing I have ever <gasps> made. Incredible. She loved them so much. <laughs> the baby's making funny noises. Yeah. What unique musical do you guys think should come back to Broadway? Oh. Reefer, uh, me, Reefer Madness. I think they are working Reefer on a Reefer Madness. Madness. Are they really? Yeah. Fun. I think, um, does it hold up? I actually. Yeah, I watched it recently. It. Okay, good. You're in town. You're in town. Oh, You're in town. Absolutely. Yeah. That wasn't Jeremy, that long ago. Jeremy was Jordan is Bobby Strong. Oh, 100%. Yeah. He, did, he, did he did it in college. You can do it again. And we were like, oh, Jesus. Oh, that was the show where, like, this kid's a freaking star. Yeah. Thanks. We should go to Gatsby. We should go to Gatsby. Yeah. I also have now heard very good things about Lempika. Oh, I have heard nothing about Lempika. My friend Trent saw it and loved it, but he did say it might become sort of a culty flop. Okay. Because it's just like... I don't think enough people are hey, pal, you're good. looking at it, you know? Mm. You're okay, pal. Okay, use that one. Due to KBF, Amanda's right upper arm is quite the sun. Muscle size never left. Stir, stir, stir. Yes, I am starting to cramp a little bit. Oh. Okay. Alright. So the goal here is to make Little How circles, many? as many as we want. Okay. Oh, shh. Forgot. <laughs> All right, listen. <laughs> Sorry. <Do> that. <laughs> I forgot that it leaks out. No. It was tasty. <laughs> it is sticky, but Kimberly. <laughs> yeah. Did you finish your Did you finish your chicken yet? That's your boy. That's your boy. Good boy. <laughs> okay. Good job. Get here. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, leaks out. <laughs> okay. God. Okay, this tip might not actually be okay. <clears throat> These are actually going to be star shaped. I didn't expect it, but they're kind of oh, holding. Yeah. Yeah. Mine aren't. I mean, that's fine. Also, I have more that I could make. Okay. Do you want to prep another uh, yeah. thing? Why not? Okay. I have a few more I can squeeze on. Okay. This is a very stressful moment. All right. Mm, yummy. Isn't it tasty? Yeah. Because it's not that much pistachio, but it's just enough to like give it that little extra. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Hi, baby boy. You can't eat this. Hi. It's nuts. Nuts. Well, we are giving him peanut butter tomorrow. We are giving him peanut butter tomorrow. Oh, boy. <laughs> Uncle Adam will be pleased. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, these aren't real star shapes. They're just going to be kind of like wonky circles. That's okay. We didn't have the proper circle tips because I have them at my house and I didn't realize that until I got here. Who will? Okay. I always say if I could make anything into a Broadway show, it would be Cats Don't Dance. 
Oh. Cats do dance, though. Mm. They go to the Jellicle Ball. Yes, they do. Mm. <laughs> well, that's just a little funny one. Perfect. I mean, I can just add. Oh, yeah. How long do they rest? For about 30 minutes. We want right. them to develop a little skin on the top so that when we touch them, our finger doesn't come away wet. That's the goal. Yeah. Hi, little boy. Hi! You having a good time? Yeah, you just want to throw your toys all around? Can I give you something to chew? I'm giving him his, uh, So yeah, so now they sit, and they chill for a little bit. Great. Hold on, can I pause? Yes. It's just up on the lip oh, a little yeah. bit. Okay. Whew. On humid days, it could take longer. You're absolutely right, Mary. So now we have tea time. Whatever, Great. Whatever version of tea time we want to have, we can chill. I think I have cheese. Oh. I love cheese. Yeah, there's half a brewery in the fridge. Mmm. Slightly less than <laughs> oh, interesting. There was. Oh, that's, oh, that's, oh, that's fun. That's fun to tell. <laughs> like, say today when it's raining 100, or one to two inches and 90% humidity. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Um, it might take a little longer. I may not be able to get you both of these uh, tall chairs because I may have plugged. Uh, the entire setup. <laughs> and That's okay. The, the, the we can stand and chat. Chair. I can stand and chat. Yeah, there's no way for me yeah. to get you that chair without dropping everything. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I don't mind standing. I'm, I'm sorry. Good. You're fine. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't mm -hmm. talk about it. Yeah, I thought this was gonna be really intense. Fake. Uh, I so. mean, it is intense in certain moments, but there is a little chill time. Although the actual bake itself will be like 11 minutes. It's very quick once once they're in the oven. I'm so sorry. And then it's actually quick so for right. them to cool. Don't be sorry. Yeah, you're fine. Do you want to look any of the better before I... Yeah. Okay. Do you want to look any of the better? No, I'm okay. Thank you, though. Uh -huh. That's yummy. It's sticky. Hello, bud. You having fun? Yeah. Yeah. Rest. I'm thinking about making some now. The craving is strong. Do it. It's a little stressful, but it is definitely worthwhile. These It'll are still all fun. be okay. Okay. You could make a happy. Jeez. Ooh, you could also make a Happy Feet musical where the cast all dresses in tuxedos and have amazing dance numbers. That is very cute. Did you see Happy Feet? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I have apple juice instead of tea. Ah. Would you like tea? Would you like... Maybe I'll stick with my water and coffee because I'm not done with it yet. I'm just doing a little... a little cleaning. Just to make our lives easier later. I appreciate you. So let's see. Weird musicals that would want to come back. You know... Bat Boy. That boy. Okay. Rewrite that book. I mean, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Poke a little air bubble. That one doesn't hold up. So, we're, yes, go ahead and poke the air bubbles. Oh, yeah, and give them a snack, actually. We need to do that before they rest. Yeah. I forgot about that. Big noise. Big noise, bud. Big noise. He's not a fan. Of <laughs> That's okay. We're making faces. Yeah. Yeah. You having so much fun? Are you living your best life? Well, how'd that taste? Did you say good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big noise. The <gasps> noise bin is okay. We're just slamming cookies. So the slamming is to get rid of these little air pockets that uh, come from stirring it together, folding it together. 
And you just give it a couple of last smacks and then, you know, get rid of the air pockets. It's doable. It's doable. Yeah. Big noise. That's a cute noise. Why is that cute noise? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Cheese. Cheese. I've always been disappointed when I've had macarons. They're not for me. Totally oh. fair, Mary. Yeah, Jay doesn't really love them either. I, it depends on the macaron. Like, there's a lot that I don't love. You know what I mean? Like, when, remember when we got those, um, the, the ones from the store? Mm -hmm. And they were just too, like, oh. artificial flavored. This is not into that. But I like these. And I like, depending on the filling as well. They can be, like, overly sweet. It can be, like, yeah. What, what do I really like? Macarons. Oh, I'm so, so on. Yeah. I think they're I think they're a nice little treat, but it's not something I seek out. Yeah, I've always been the same way. But these are these are banging. This this recipe I'll throw in, I'll put into Discord the recipe that we did because it's it's I basically transcribed it from a YouTube video, um, and then I just took the ratios for the pistachio and like the the buttercream filling from another recipe. Jimmy, you could take a better picture. Mm. What's, what's the matter? <laughs> Me. You're doing... What are you? I just thought it was cute. Mm -hmm. He's just working. It's just cute watching him it, with him watching you guys cook. Yeah. He's just having a nice time. He just wants... This kid... We're raising an extrovert. It's such... It's, it's I mean, an yeah. energy that we're having a hard time with. Because he just wants... He just likes to be involved. He's hanging. He just likes to be involved. Yeah, you're hanging. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, whoa. It's so Thank fun. Thank you for being a good boy. To see his little personality. Thank you very much, Ginger. I know. Thank it's you. still so, like, or it's, it's so, it's already so is the word I'm looking for. Like, pronounced yeah. and specific. Yeah, good boy. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I'm jealous. New York was freezing all week and now we have a flood watch day. Yeah, it's <gasps> gross. It's raining. What? Flood yeah, oh, watch? Was... Yeah, flood watch. Blech. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we're like set up to where I can actually get you. Yeah. That been, that Jay sucked. picked me up from the train station. <laughs> yeah. It was very nice. I had a text from Kimberly, and I was like, "Oh no, I don't need that." And she was like, "Jay already has his shoes on, so you might as well sit tight." <laughs> yeah, I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can walk all you want, but yeah. I'm like, I'm scooping. <laughs> I'm gonna chase you down in the car and scream. Well, you. that's the one thing about this neighborhood is that like I'm not worried about mint blues in my parking spot, <laughs> which is lovely. Yeah. <laughs> this is very good cheese. Thank you for sharing. Anytime. Yeah, it's good. Delicious. Uh -huh. Also, crackers are good. Yeah, it was on sale, too. Oh. It was like a. I saw it. I got the new one. It's cheaper than the other one. Love sale cheese. Mm. <laughs> well, Borsan, Borsan uh, you know what that is? What uh, That has now become my secret ingredient in grilled cheeses. Oh. You get that a spread down of that? I had a disappointing grilled cheese this week. Oh. I had a craving for it, and I just kind of, oh, whoops. That's fine. <laughs> I didn't do anything too fancy with it, and I tried it, and it just was, like, really lackluster. Oh. And I was so sad. You, like, looking at that light, you little weirdo. <laughs> Thank you for being a good boy. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm You're a very good boy. But, yeah. But, yeah, New York, New York is miserable, weather-wise, today. And just a, All week, it's been yeah, yucky. When my dad was here, it wasn't so bad, but when Bob and Barbara were here and my dad, mm. it was just like rainy, gross. How was their visit? It's a lovely visit. We so Adam uh, and I have been together a very long time, but our parents have never met. So we rectified that. My dad came for a visit because, um, as you all know, my mom passed away last year, and so my dad is you know finally free to travel, uh, and so decided he wanted to come visit. He hadn't been here since two thousand. 15? Oh, wow. I think, it, yeah. Like, a very long time. Mm -hmm. Like, he, the first time he visited, or that when he visited last, it was him and my mom. And Adam and I were pretty newly dating. And Adam, I remember, was very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we had a really lovely time. My dad was totally enamored with Bob and Barbara. He was so, so just like, oh, good. Happy to meet them. And like, they got along like gangbusters. Barbara took us to the museum. 
and we have the best time <laughs> because she knows a lot and just had a story every five feet we were at the Met. It was amazing. Um, we saw Spam a lot, which was fantastic. Very fun. Um, Leslie, um, I can't remember anybody's names today. Leslie, somebody. It's Lady of the Lake. Yeah, Leslie Kritzer. Yeah. Um, and she eats up the stage. She is so funny. That's what she does. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> it reminded me of... Did you ever see Bayside? Ah! Yeah. yeah, I guess we weren't friends yet. Mm-mm. Um, what? Do you... <laughs> yeah. And I have never really watched... Um... Save the Bell. Yeah. So I, well, I wouldn't have done it. April Kidwell, who played Jesse Spano. <laughs> I eventually took over her, for her, but, while she, but she started... And then I, Barbara, you do not talk too much. You have so many interesting oh. things to say. We loved it. We're still, we still talk about it. Um, a week later, like we still are like coming up with little details of like, do you remember when Barbara told us about this? Anyway. Um, so April was the lead in Showgirls as well. And she is one of the like funniest, she's kind of like Kate McKinnon level hilarious mm -hmm. like, and just wacky. And so she would have these little pockets in our show where she would just go and improvise. And it was very much that same, like, Leslie energy. Anyway, Spam a Lot's great. And then I, we took my dad to see Wicked for the first time, which Aww. he loved. <laughs> he also, he, we had a really funny moment at intermission where he was like, you know, it's really funny that the male characters just are really not super fleshed out, are they? <laughs> They're just really one-dimensional. I was like, well, one, it is a story about the main two women, but also, like, wait until the second act. There's some real character growth. And he was, he, like, leaned over a couple minutes in and was like, I was wrong. Because, <laughs> like, Bach is, like, doing all of his. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it was very fun. <laughs> Baby James noises giving Mrs. Pasta whiplash. <laughs> <laughs> a good grilled cheese is amazing. A subpar grilled cheese is disappointing. Oh, yes, yeah. Yes, it's the worst. Recipe to try using the urban garlic bursin, stuffing it into those small sweet peppers, and then grilling them. Mary, that is a great huh. idea. My younger kiddo goes nuts if he hears someone mention grilled cheese. He loves them. <laughs> yeah. Grilled cheese is a perfect food. Hmm. What you doing over there, kid? Hi. Are you itching your neck? Are you okay? Are you just playing? Oh. Yeah. When our dads met, we took them to this great steakhouse, a steakhouse called Amber Steakhouse in Greenpoint, Brooklyn, and my dad ordered the seafood platter, sigh. Listen, <laughs> a steakhouse usually does a good seafood platter. Yeah, I think that's fine. I haven't been to like a steakhouse steakhouse mm -hmm. in like a while. Me neither. Didn't we say we were going to, you guys were going to go to celebrate something? Yeah, well, Adam and I realized, Adam and I are planning a, uh, a David what? Buster's trip. Oh, nice. Because I was like, hey, morale around here sucks. We need to hang out like friends. And he was like, David Buster's? And I literally was about to, as as he said that, I was texting David, David Buster's. Buster's. Oh, that's cute. Or we might go to Barcade, one of the two. Oh, good on Yeah. <coughs> yeah, James is super chatty today. Yeah. All right. Super chat Actually, James. they're getting really close. Oh. Yeah. We want them to have the little skin. So I'm actually going to breathe the oven. Great. Okay. Are you having fun with your mommy? Are you having fun? It's all right, about it. <laughs> all right. I'll get them out of your hair. <laughs> Hi, bud. All right. Come on. Yeah. Come on. You are me. You You're are me. You're being so cute. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's ah! so cute. I, I, know, I know he's being really chatty, but it's, he's just so happy to be here. I mean, he's ha I'm, I'm not bothered by it. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did say steak. But... All right. Wah! You know, no, it's turning. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. I know. I want to give you such a big hug. You just look like you need big cuddles. All right. Let's, let's go upstairs, my dude. Hi. And his diaper looks kind of full. Yeah. Mm. Uh, looking forward to that fist fight. That'll be fun. Good luck. Oh. Fair, Anyone I'm... has any tips on how to change an almost 10 month old baby? Oh my Who gosh. just wants to flip over? <laughs> he blew He's like, it. "Oh, you want me on my back?" No. Yeah. I want to sit up. Yeah, especially with the big old poop there. Right? Oh boy. Uh huh. God. He to be to his to to his credit, to be fair to the boy, he was a very good boy and let me change his diaper after his nap. <laughs> Enjoy. Good luck. I'll, I'll be watching uh, from my phone. Okay. Hey. Thanks, Jay. He's so happy. <laughs> <sighs> Cute boy. 
Sarah says, distraction toys, Jay. <laughs> yeah, he sees the toy, he holds it in his hand, he just goes, but what if and this toy was sitting over here? up, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, kiddos. You know. Yes, and the yeah. his favorite toy is his lotion. Hilarious. Or the wipes container. Sure. Or the diaper I'm trying to put on him. <laughs> <laughs> just give him a, like a, mm-hmm. a, a decoy diaper. You should go. You guys should go to Amber Steakhouse. Very fancy and best in New York City, in my opinion. Well, that is quite a mm. tall uh, bar. Wait, where? It, it's I think Amber. it's Greenpoint, Brooklyn. Okay. Yeah. They focus more when eating string cheese. There Ooh. you go. <laughs> He's not a string cheese kid. I yet. just speed change. Ma says diaper underneath first. Uh-huh. Undo, wipe, fasten. Try to get it done under yeah, a minute. I do that too. When I was uh, visiting my nephew, first of all, lots of diaper free time. Right. And then second of all, he liked to be just running around constantly. So my sister has gotten very good at just diapering him standing, like just a oh boop, yeah. Boop, boop, boop. So I had to try I to do that. I figured that out the other day too. Good job. That is mm-hmm. A-level parenting. I struggled with it as an auntie. <laughs> Couldn't quite nail it. And so it was a lot of me, like, wrestling with him. And he's, like, you know, flinging himself over my shoulder. I'm like, just, no. <laughs> you start him flipped over, so he tries to flip to his back. Oh. Ah, there you go. Reverse interesting, psychology interesting. on babies. Yeah, that's clever. That's yeah, clever. it doesn't quite fasten this snugly. Absolutely not. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he ended up, I'll show you this morning. I won't show you because I didn't make a baby, but. Well, maybe I didn't take a picture of it. Oh. There was a story in my memory, so vividly. <laughs> <laughs> pardon, 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 pa- pardon. Hold ah. on, hold on. Here we are. Oh. Yep. Hey, little bud. <laughs> Yeah. Just That's like all the pictures I get from my nephew. Crawled right away from the diaper. Yeah. Do you know? Sometimes oh, yeah, this is you want to just one. be a little free. I got close. <laughs> <laughs> it's just crawling out of the diaper. Uh-huh. Incredible. All right. I'm going to have one more. Yeah. Pull up sounds great. <laughs> yeah. Pull up phrase and face is just mm-hmm. <sighs> I feel better after having cheese. That's what I needed for my hangover. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? Size, but they're gonna taste delicious. <laughs> Should we do one tray at a time? Yeah. Okay. I think so. I think that's. I mean, I guess we can put them side mm, by side, no. but not comfortably. No, right? I don't think they would fit. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Plus it's, it's only a twelve-minute bake. It's cook. It's cook. Uh, and while they're baking, we can start prepping the um, butter cream cheese, cream cheese butter pecan pistachio. Oh my god, pistachio buttercream. There it is. Cream cheese, cream cheese frosting with pistachio in it. I also really respected my father-in-law when he would help with diapers because he only has one hand. Oh, wow. Whoa. That is a challenge. Once again, A-level parenting. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Oh, man. Yeah. Jay's, like, whole hand is big enough that it, like, fits around his little hips Mm -hmm. so you can really hold him down. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite as large. Mm -hmm. Little bitty hands. Mm -hmm. Can't do it. Oh, well. You just make it happen. <laughs> yeah. Nat and I have this fear that when we have kids, we will wind up in a PSA commercial, but instead of drugs, it's sports. What? What? I don't get it. Because you do too many sports? Yeah, Dave, explain. <laughs> what? <laughs> Confused. Oh, all right. So next steps are going to be, we're going to make cream cheese frosting, basically. Mm-hmm. So it's literally just whip the cream cheese in the butter. Add the sugar, throw in the pistachios and a little vanilla. And then we a little salt. snorted too many sports. <laughs> okay. What? No, because we were geeks and they will be jocks. I get it a little bit more, but not mm-hmm. quite. <laughs> oh, and you'll be like, don't do sports? Let's just say no to sports? I don't get it. No. We're still at the needs help wiping potty training phase with my younger nephew, which is awkward. Yeah. I remember so vividly. I was in high school. And my choir teacher tells us all this story about uh, her preschool teaching days. And it was like her first day teaching preschool and a kid needed help in the bathroom. And she didn't know that she was 
allowed or supposed to do that. And so it was this little boy and she was just like, uh, you need to wipe yourself. And like thought that that was what was correct. And so like he's in the stall. Many places won't allow Adults teachers to, to wipe. But okay. But like if the kid I'm not doesn't know how. Work. Okay. Fair enough. But the kid didn't know how. And so she's trying to talk him through it. <laughs> through the stall door. And she describes to us that he... He goes, okay, can you check? And she opens the stall door. He just bends over and goes, am I clean? <laughs> and he wasn't. <laughs> and I that like stuck with me so, like it just, that made me laugh so hard. I was like 15 <laughs> hearing that story. And I also was so like horrified and like thinking about like <laughs> having to work as like a, a professional, right? Like mm-hmm. as a teacher and just being like, I don't, what do I do with this? How? <laughs> That I wiped many a child's bottom in my time. Yes. Well, and now as like somebody who's nanny yeah. and like I've, I've, I've helped a lot of children um, with their bathroom needs, but man, oh man. <laughs> no. I do not miss that job. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's a challenge. It's a, yeah, it's a challenge. It's a challenge. <laughs> anyway, kiddos. Ah, rah, rah, rah. He's making noise. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I gotta kiddos. go back to bed. Yeah. <laughs> Can you? No. After we're done? Oh. Actually, yeah, probably. Oh, good. Yeah, because yeah, he'll nap on that. You are great. Great. I don't have B&B today, so I just Oh, get to go you home. also can nap. I could also nap. That would be nice. I, I don't nap well. I haven't napped in a very long time. <laughs> I'm no, just absorbing all the naps. stories, yeah. preparing for my time. <laughs> we're, we are, uh, we're ordering a You got this. It's in my Amazon cart. Okay, cool. That's asking the Yeah. Will you switch over the laundry if you can? Uh, yeah. Cinderella, Cinderella. <laughs> yeah, we need a gate. Yeah. Uh, Jess's gate is the hardest thing. It's like this clamp and lift and it like doesn't work well. And so having to go up and down, and like the baby's room is in the basement. So like I had to go down and up with him in my arms and learn how to do this thing. And it was so challenging. And she was like, yeah, it was, it was a gift. And we had to... Um. Use it. And I was like, ooh. Or you return it. Ooh. Dave asks, would I DM? As in, be the dungeon master. For would you? D&D. The answer is no. And here's why. I love d and I love group storytelling. I get very overwhelmed <laughs> by, like, bottom. Mm, yeah. yeah. Alright. Let's do ten minutes and then we'll check on it. Okay. Should be 12. I'm gonna double check that. I'm gonna turn the light on. Yes. Okay, great. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. We did all the things. Ha ha. Okay. We've done it. Whew. All right. So the answer is I wouldn't DM because I get very overwhelmed by details. And so when it comes to when I'm under pressure and have to like remember details like names and dates and things, right? I get very, um, I just blank out. Like, that's why I always hated history classes. That's why I was, like, I just mm-hmm. get really, really overwhelmed. And so I can't keep all of that stuff straight. And a DM has to be so on top of that and so, like, consistent. And, like, it would be fun to do all the voices. It would be fun to, like, come up with stories. But I am so much happier working off somebody else and playing playing with mm-hmm. other people because I just would be very overwhelmed as a, as a DM. <laughs> What does everyone think of the Beta Dagger Heart system, by the way? Have not played. I don't know. What I think the means. organization of it is really good. <laughs> I don't know like, if you guys can hear really that. It's really beginner friendly, which is awesome. Huh. I just, I don't know. There's, I have some aspects of the actual gameplay I find a little meh. But. Interesting. Also, That's the first the I've ever heard of those words. So. <laughs> the, the name Dagger Heart is bad. Uh, fair enough. Oh. Because do you have a dagger through the heart, or is your heart a dagger? <laughs> These are the important These questions. These are the important questions. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> Did you enjoy that question? <laughs> Kimberly, would you, yeah. how would you like to uh, do the cream cheese process? You want to do sure? it like in this bowl? Do you want to do it in your other oh, bowl? Oh, yeah, my other bowl. I mean, th- yeah. I can wash this one. That's what I was no. asking, really. Is like, it's, don't worry about it. Okay. And, uh, and I guess we can use the paddle, yeah. So, okay. Never mind. I was just going to start washing. I appreciate the impulse. Remembered <laughs> that you are always prepared not to do dishes. <laughs> yep. I hate dishes. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do cream cheese. We're going to do some butter. I'm trying to 
to remember how much cream cheese it actually was. I wrote that to you. Let me look at it. <coughs> Let me look. 56 grams of cream cheese. I mean, I don't think the ratios matter that much for this, to be honest. No. It's just... Yeah, and then 28 grams of butter, which I think is like three tablespoons, like not much at all. Um, how do you want to do this? You want me to get the bowl? Yeah. Whip the That'll do. That'll be big. Yeah, we're just going to whip the butter and uh, cream cheese. Did you finally use all of your Costco cream cheese? Yes, Mary. Yes, I did. I got through all of it. I didn't throw away a single bit. I was very proud of myself. Alright, yeah, how so much? 28 grams. Of butter. Of butter. And how much grams of cheese? cream cheese? Uh, 56. Just gonna go bloop. <laughs> Way 95. Too much. Whoops, I, I thought it would be so much more than that. I don't know. I mean, we could do a little I guess we're not extra. making that much, you know? Yeah, I guess that's true. Do you have a chance to play 13 age or something? I don't know what that is either. I don't know what games are. <laughs> Alright. That's fine. It's 66, but it's a little extra. It's not going to hurt us. Nine. Twenty. <laughs> it was just very fun. It's a fling. <laughs> To fling or not to fling? 32. That's fine. Perfect. Okay, great. And then we're going to whip that up real nice. And then we're going to throw in the pistachio powdered sugar. flour and the powder, powdered sugar. Yeah. Great. Arcades or carnivals? If so, what's your favorite? Oh, I like the water game, like where you try oh, to get it in the, the middle and it goes yeah. up, 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 or like it's a horse race. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Okay, I like throwing stuff at the little furry guys. Uh -huh. I like the big smashy at an arcade. Ski ball. Oh, all right. Is my preferred also love game. Ski ball. Yeah. Um, or a claw machine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't really play any of the video games. Fair at an arcade. I, like I maybe enjoy... Pac-Man, but I would much rather hold a thing, you know? Yeah, that's fair. I want to play real I life. like the, um, <laughs> pinball. Oh, I like a pinball. Yeah. yeah. I like, uh, I like Pac-Man. I like video games. I like, I like the racing, the car racing games. Where like you're, like, sitting games. in the thing. Actually, yes, I like love those. Them. A car racing game. Yeah. Yeah. Anything yeah. with a, like a, yeah. Anything where you can sit down. <laughs> So we're going to do, I think we can add a little, no, actually we don't need salt because the pistachios are salty. And it's salted butter. And it's salted butter. So no no salt. We'll do a little bit of vanilla. You didn't already get that out, did you? No. Gold fit. So you can start just kind How of much? throwing that in there. It's 125 grams. 25 or 100? 125. Uh, a cup ish. Yeah. A cup, a cup, a cup. These look so perfect. <gasps> yes. Yeah, that's gonna be more for like texture. And then you can add however much of that that you want. Although we're gonna maybe save a little bit for sprinkling. Bread dusting. Bread dusting. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. Ha! Doing it. TTRPG, oh wait, I did get a chance to play 13th Age recently, which is very fun. TTRPG, designed by the lead designers of 3rd and 4th edition D&D. The main feature I liked was an escalation dice that goes up every round in combat, ooh, and gets added to attack rolls and save DCs. That's interesting. Would Still you consider, <laughs> I'm trying to think if I've ever played any sort of tabletop role-playing game. Yeah. 
And I don't know why my head just went, oh, I've played Pretty Pretty Princess. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Perfect. That's so funny. I think I need a little bit more. Okay. We can also, like, taste it and see. Because it doesn't even have to be that, like... This this just like needs to splooch in between them. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it doesn't have to be anything too. Flavor is going to be more important than anything. Still thinking about grilled cheese. Probably going to have that for lunch. I support you, Baja. I'm very good at the claw machine. My dad used to call it my useless talent. <laughs> Jay's really good at the claw machine. I am not. I'm terrible at it. So there you have it. Uh, Amanda, have you always One played D and D setting games or have? A little more or have you tried other settings like Vampire Star Wars or Trek? Only D and D. Just because I—that's the first thing I was offered. Yeah, a little more pistachio, but that's very good. Yes, yes, yes. Because the actual cookies themselves are not super sweet. Yeah. So this would be a good shot of sweetness. Mmm, yum. Yes, doing it. Um. But I would absolutely play those other things. I love... I'm not the biggest Star Wars person, just because I... I'm just going to get real whippy. Yeah, I'm going to. We'll be good. Be good. Um, do you want a pipe then? I think or, we should. Yeah, I think yeah. so too. And we don't have to like do anything fancy with yeah. it. We can just like... One of yours, one of mine. Perfect. One of yours, one of mine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Star Wars and I, I've just never, like, gotten into it in, like, the nerdy way, but Star Trek, absolutely vampire things, 100%. Uh, love me some Buffy. <laughs> I've recently, uh, just, like, Buffy things have been showing up on my TikTok. It brings me a lot of joy. <laughs> all right. Gosh, we're doing it. We're doing all the things, and those are going to be ready in 30 seconds. Maybe not. They'll probably need a little more time. But they look so even. I know. I'm so impressed with us. Yes. And it's only 12 30. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? We can make. Right. Take a peek at these. Watch your butt. Oh, yeah. They're so great. Smell those? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yay. Mm -hmm. Funny for you. Perfect. And we won't have that many to fill ultimately. Yeah. It'll probably be like, what, 20, 30? Yeah, not too many. I didn't count how many we made. <laughs> Do you want to melt some white chocolate? Uh, well, after they're... We don't need yeah. to, yeah, yeah, because we don't. We want the mel melted chocolate to be like ready. Melted. We don't want to have to keep. Yeah. yeah. So the design that I found from this recipe is basically like two little thin white chocolate strips and then some dusting of pistachio, which we can do whatever we want. I just yeah, it looks classy. Look great. Yeah, pretty. Yeah. Well, bye, Sarah. Aww. Bye, Sarah. Have you have a good day? Stay dry and warm. So miserable out there. <laughs> There's oh, a friend of me that really wants to uh, get get a nap in today. She yeah. sounds really nice. Oh, we nap here before you leave. Oh, there you go. <laughs> now I want to nap in my cutie. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Crawl into, nice crawl into nap. bed. What do you think is the, is like the best macaron filling? Like if you were to pick one. Whatever they put in raspberry ones. Like a raspberry ganache yeah. kind of thing? Uh, like or a, is it like a curd. coulis? Yeah. I like a tart yes. situation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's what I need to test. Thank you. 
separated a little bit. Not quite. Okay. For a minute. They seem really close. Yeah. You have to like really commit to pressing those buttons. I know. <laughs> This is literally why I'm signing off. Both cats are asleep on me and I won't be conscious mm. much longer. Oh my gosh. Have the best nap. There's a Buffy audiobook with some of the original cast. Yes. I literally got an Audible subscription so that I could listen to that. Oh. I just haven't yet. I need to. Because oh. James Marsters is probably the best audiobook narrator of all time. Right. We've talked about this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was Dresden. Oh. Excellent. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What a rainy Jeez. day. Yeah. What should we do? Sleep. Nap. Yeah. And your sister's coming over tonight? Yeah. Okay. She just got back from Amsterdam. My goodness. I know. She's so traveled. <laughs> I know. She was like, I'm not going on a trip for a while, so let me come over, is it? Okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. I don't like trips. <laughs> Like I don't like trips. So I just love being home. Yeah. Doing nothing. <laughs> it's not nothing. But like it was so nice to have my dad, you know, come here with me. But yeah, but it was also like, man, I miss my like. Yeah. I feel them. Not quite. They look. They're very, very close. Okay. One more minute. I don't like burnt macarons. Have you ever burned them? No. They taste like really dusty. I had like one that was too small. Oh. And so it was like, it just like cooked a little too much. Yeah. And like I the like. The chew was not there. There was no chew. It was like airy and just kind of like, like it tasted toasted. Mm hmm. Right. But like, so like, but it was just the, there was no, the texture was horrible. It's a shame. Ugh. Yeah. What a bummer. <laughs> No. Oh. <sighs> so I very desperately have to pee. I might need oh, to go. go do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I was I'm trying sorry. to wait, but I go. just realized I had to do this. I'm uncomfortable. Sorry, everybody. Be right back. Mm. This is good cheese. They're still not quite there. Did you have a good date night last night? I did. Oh, yes, they didn't stream because we went on a date. It was very nice. <sighs> How is my morning going? James slept till 8 because it's rainy out, and I think he thought it was still nighttime. So I was pleased with that. And then I also got to sleep till 8. Apparently... The dancer I work for, a bunch of people's costumes are too small. So that's always a fun email to get. Because I have to go, oh, I order them the right size, but the costumes run small sometimes. But also, like, a ballet dress should fit tight. A what dress? People are saying their costumes are too small. Oh. For who? For what? For recital. Oh. Sorry, that's stressful. What's happening here? I want to test them again and still know. Okay. So, I didn't set a timer. I was like, we'll just check them again in a minute. All right. <sighs> Only one of my boys lays on my chest and he never stays for long. Aw. Oh. Yeah. Our, uh, our one gal loves to be picked up and walked around, Ooh. but she will not sit on us. It's fascinating. Sam? Bucky. Sam will come cuddle on us mm -hmm. and loves it, but she has to do it on her turns. She does not like to be carried or picked up. Fascinating. Huh. Yeah. Well, thank you, Glitch the Dragon. Welcome for the first time. Oh, 
You're welcome to lurk as long as you yes, like. Please stay. We're making macarons. Mm -hmm. It's going great. Some of them could burn. I'm scared. I know, because they're like getting golden on top. No, I think they Okay. I mean, we can take them out. I mean, they will continue cooking a little yeah. bit. But, it, I mean, that is supposed to be the test, is like, you're supposed to be able to peel know. them. Was it after they're cooled? No. There's a rousing game of peekaboo happening upstairs. I know, because I got it in parchment paper. I know it's parchment paper. Also, we can't change them now. No, we can't. I'm just, I don't want them to burn. I think they're fine then. I think they're fine. Yeah. All right. We can sacrifice one and cut it. Sacrifice one and cut it. Okay. <laughs> Chewy. It'll be fine. Yeah, there he goes. Well, let's let it sit there and continue cooking. Eat it. Yum, yum. How's it taste? Mmm. Mmm. What is your number one dream roll? We're both on stage and screen. If you could cast yourself and then if you were casting each other. Interesting. Mmm. Okay. What do you think? I don't know, Baker's wife. Obviously. You'd be brilliant. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think if I were to cast you, I feel like I haven't seen enough, like, of me actually performing. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, I know your energy and I know mm -hmm. your voice to a certain extent, yeah. but, like, yeah. I mean, Baker's wife would probably be my, the Thank easy you. answer. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's a no-brainer. For me... I mean, I did love playing Rapunzel. That was fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did that. Oh. I don't want to do this to you because I'm casting you in 10 years. Okay. That's fine. Evan's mom, Dear Evan Hansen. Oh. I would love that. You'd kill it. Yeah. That is your energy. 100%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I would love that. I would love um, the mom in Next to Normal. Ooh. Diana. Yes. Like, that would That's be... That's a great one. I did in my college, like... It wasn't, like, my final showcase, but it was, like, the showcase within, like, internally, like, for for the rest of the classes, like, for ourselves. We did, like, a scene study, and I did the scene that they did at the Tonys. Oh. Like, mm -hmm. the birthday cake yeah. and all the things. And that was, it was, like, right at the beginning of my mom starting to lose oh, her no. mind. So, like, the emotional side of it for me. Hi, bud. <laughs> uh, Amanda also has a Jenna in her. Yeah. Jenna, oh, as in waitress. waitress. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I love that show. Another mom one. <laughs> yeah. But. Um, oh, Carol King. Oh. That would have never occurred to me. You think yeah. I could play that role? Absolutely. Yeah, you absolutely could. All right. I'll take that. Well, because my mind went, oh, yeah, who did I see? Alice in Love. I think she was in Beautiful. It was actually yeah. Kennedy. And then I was just like, Amanda could do Beautiful. <laughs> I also, like, weirdly mm -hmm. feel like you could have a lot of fun, or, like, I would just be curious to see you play Mrs. Lovett. Oh, that <laughs> was like a, I feel like that you would just do, like, the the version of you that, like, plays with Jay is, like, your yeah. wife, you know, like, the wife-husband bit, like, uh -huh. that kind of, like, energy. Like, I could now, see could Jay do it. Sweeney? Should we do this together? I mean, I think you could. Yeah. You could play an amazing Sweeney. Years. Hell yeah. yeah. I'll be Joanna. <laughs> And I'll act like a bird. <laughs> no, beggar woman. Yeah. Oh. And Adam will just make Adam into a pie. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you a happy boy? Do you want to eat some lunch? Yeah. I, 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 I. <laughs> you guys want to try lumps? Dave says you guys must watch theater camp. You guys would love it. Oh, um, I need to, yeah. Oh, and asks, still haven't seen one Harry Met Sally? Nope. <laughs> this one? That covers on stage, but what about on-screen roles? Okay. I don't feel like fighting them right now. Yeah. Guys, this is how you make a, a baby food pouch. You get the pouch, and you click it open. Yeah! Like that. How nice. Oh. Here we go. Thank you. Yum, yum. 
you want to take some puffs with you too? I do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, on screen, <laughs> they had him a Big Mac. On screen, let's see. I would love to be a superhero. That would be so fun for me. Like, oh, yeah. Captain Marvel would love that. But that would be so fun. Um, yeah, like, is this like an existing property that we he are said rebooting can for be ourselves? Oh. Remake, reboot, or something not made yet. Hmm. Hello. You have to say <laughs> that? <laughs> what? Blue. That was a big one. I don't know. Bless you. <laughs> Sorry. My goodness. I could also see you in like a Bewitched reboot. Oh, that one. <laughs> uh, ugh, anything Nicole Kidman. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> the others. I would love to do like oh, a horror film like yes. that. Like psychological thriller. Mm -hmm. More sneezing. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Man, yeah. everyone's sneezing today. Jay, yeah. what would you cast us as? Uh, from screen work? Sure. Yeah. Or whatever. Um... Hmm. I mean, you'd be a great Lily Aldrin. Who? Kimberly. Uh, how I Met Your Mother. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> you'd be a really good Lily. I've never known her last name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Jay would be an incredible Marshall. That would be a very good... Uh, <laughs> I gave you all the rules and parameters to make sure you wouldn't get stuck in a conundrum. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mary. <laughs> um... Did you guys see the Nicole Kidman Bewitched remake? It was weird. Oh, absolutely. It was so weird. <laughs> oh, I would love, this is not my physical type mm -hmm. at all, but I would love a remake of Moulin Rouge <laughs> to be Satine. I, that just like, that role I found so riveting and oh, so yeah. fascinating. And like, there's no way I could ever do it and not do it. Like, and I couldn't do it justice. Like Nicole Kidman did it perfectly, but... <laughs> That like lives um, in my heart. I would like to be in the Gilded Age. Were you trying to pull yeah. this off? Yeah. And then, oh dear. Yeah, Kimberly. I'll cast Kimberly in anything where she gets to wear a period costume. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> uh, freaking yeah. Elizabeth in Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, I would yeah. love would actually, role. Kimberly would also play a very good Amy in uh, Little Women. Little Women. Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah. Both the musical and the. I like movie of it. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know the musical very well. I know astonishing, Musicals. obviously. Obviously. I had tickets and then it closed. Uh, well. Oh. What are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do? Yeah. The AMC commercial, yes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. I'm sorry I panicked about those macarons. It's okay. Ugh. Did you panic? Oh, I just oh, I pulled them out. To be fair, they were in there a long time. Which is I kind know. of a surprise. There's is so the little teeny bit. Of no. I mean, it's it's what it's supposed to be. But maybe your oven runs hot? It is really hot. We could turn it down. Or does my oven run cold? Or this silicone mat is old. Yeah. It could also be that. Uh, and the pouch is gone. Already? Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm squeezing out the dregs of it. Huh. Oh, well. Oh, hi, Pan. Welcome. Wait. Oh, my gosh. And hi. Hmm? C C S C shoe. Okay. Shoney. 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 Thank you. Happy anniversary. Thank you. And happy birthday to Kimberly. Thank you. It was last week. This is just my own fan casting here, but I would love to see Amanda play Lucifer from Sandman. Okay. You have such power and stature that you and stillness would be captivating. I will take that, my friend. Thank you. And Kimberly, I would like to see you tackle mm. someone like Harley Quinn. <gasps> Ooh, that would be interesting. I know. Would you like to play a villain? Yeah, I think yeah. it'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah. You do. You do a good job doing a villain. Why'd you say yeah so easily over there? <laughs> that's just our. That's our. You know, we here at the Schmidt House are very interested in uh, in, in killing the bats. So. Killing the bats. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is that a Harley Quinn thing? Because it's Batman? Yeah. Or I'm the Joker. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're the Joker? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Fun. Can I be... Let's see. I'll be Poison Ivy. <laughs> oh, yeah, fun. <laughs> yeah, Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn are girlfriends. <laughs> the, the animated show is fucking great. Oh. I don't know. Huh. We're going to make Jay watch something with Lucifer in it somehow. <laughs> well, that would be a way to do it. It has been, you guys. Come <laughs> on. I mean, we gave you what you wanted. 
It was really good, though. Dave says, when I watch Moulin Rouge, I stop the movie before the end. Yeah, it's really yeah, absolutely it's sad. <laughs> Gary says, oh my god, Jay, your joke would be amazing. It's true. I already got the laugh. Well, yeah, and you already got say a the one line to me all the time. You need a little bit of the flair. You need the flair. I think, well, and you need some I was, madness. I was telling, I always joke around this with Adam. I'm like, I was like, does he like listen to like fun songs sometimes and like think about it as if what it, uh, like it would be a fun song to do a sequence of like a scary Joker sequence to like make Batman show up? Oh. Like uh, Mama Cass's Make Your Own Kind of Music while you're like leading a parade. Make which, your own kind of music. You're like, you're like, you've taken over the, the, the Macy's Day Parade. Oh, yeah, they're fine. Yeah, they're fine. Just, they're we didn't make... we, didn't someone do that Make Your Own Kind of Music when it's spooky something? Yeah, I'm sure, but that's that's the closest touch. Adam and Jay are Batman and Joker coded. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And Adam says, no, I never think about that because I'm the hero. Why would I think about it? That's correct. How to damage the hero. So like, but does he think about like what songs s- would be playing like while he fought the Joker? Yes. Yeah, yes. 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 He listens to Double May Cry. Yes. Music like and, pump uh, up jams. He loves a pump up jam. He loves a like an epic. <laughs> yeah. Something he can pull out too. Super Super Saiyan too. Something Adam and Inspector Gadget. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Adam would, would, you would, think would, would good do a great job. Oh. That'd be awesome. That's good. <laughs> That's really good. Oh, I would love to be in Get Smart. Oh, yeah. Speaking of like that era. Yeah, maybe it was just this map. Yeah. Okay. I'm not too worried. No. We can make those the bottoms. Fill them with delicious cream cheese frosting. Yum, yum. Uh, Jay, please watch Delicious in the Dungeon. Adam is the main character because the main character is Adam, says Gary. Oh, okay. Adam Ichabod Crane, though. Ooh. Oh, I could see Amanda's Electra. Ooh, I'll take that. I did a... Um, oh, you should do a reboot of Alias. Oh, oh that absolutely. would be so fun. And I'll be uh, your, I'll be the tech girl. Yes. <gasps> Making you all the fun, fun stuff. Fun. Doing all the montages, perfect. getting you dressed. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Done. Yay. Doing all the montages. I would also love <laughs> Orphan Black, like, just from an mm. acting perspective. Oh, yeah. That would be so fun. Like, nobody can do it. Like, um... Oh, Tatiana. 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 Yeah, but like, whoa, that was a master class. Uh, I did a, I was almost going to do, well, I'm not going to be able to say details because it still oh, might no. end up becoming a thing. Oh, no, I got over there. I just spilled too many. Oh. <laughs> and make sure some of them are stuck together so break them apart. Okay. You get a feast. I know. I know, you're a good dad. I'm a great dad. I love it. Um, yeah, Orphan Black is an incredible. If you have not seen it and you want to watch a master class in acting, so good. Tatiana Zlani is absolutely incredible. Oh. I didn't either. I got uh, upset. Uh, Peach, uh, Peach sent, we have all of yeah, them. we have all of them. Oh my gosh. On That's DVD. Cool. I did a retrospective video on Alias and I had to watch it again. I have to say Victor Garber is the best part of the show. Of course he's the best part of the show. The nuance of that character to defect and then the daughter and then it's so good. Yeah. Um, it's incredible. Also, I have like the biggest crush on Michael Vartan and Bradley Cooper from that show. Michael Vartan is so good looking. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think those need at least another minute. But it also might be the math. I can't tell. <laughs> but these look like a little wet on top, right? Yeah. Like they don't look quite right. Mm-hmm. So I think they are just a little teeny bit under them. I'm going to at least do a minute there. So interesting. And they're very chewy inside. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind the chewy. I don't You can put them on the bottom. Yeah. They don't look quite right, but they taste great. Well, they kind of dry out. <laughs> Amanda, don't talk yourself out of a job for our sake. <laughs> no. Fair enough. Uh, she's very good, which is why I want more She-Hulk. Absolutely. I would also love to play mm-hmm. She-Hulk. <laughs> Kimberly, did you catch that alias reference on the Bradley Cooper episode of Abbott Elementary after the Oscars? I didn't see that episode yet. I have to watch that episode. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen any of the new Abbott Elementary. Me either. Uh, I love that show. I did a retrospective video. And he's video a Philly on... boy, so of course he's on that show. Of course he is. Kimberly Dave's... is the main character on Abbott Elementary. Oh, a thousand percent. Yeah. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Janine Peaks. Yeah. Uh, she has she has aggressive Kimberly energy. I love yeah, all her does. clothes. Yeah. Oh, she dresses just so like good. you. <laughs> 
Alright, I'm gonna your eyeballs on these as well. Yep, I'm coming. Two more minutes, I think. Yeah. But yes, yeah, Janine Teagues, thousand percent. Who am I in that show? I'm nobody in that show. Yeah. I could no. play the principal. I could play or, like um, or or um Chessie. Chessie, yeah. yeah. Uh what's her name in the show? I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah. I could Honestly, play a though, you, know what part, show. you know what part in that show you your like I feel like you would actually really totally nail. What? The like the like redheaded guy, the white guy who's trying to Oh like, the super woke from like. a from a <laughs> from a trope perspective, yeah. you would do that. You'd be able to nail everyone. Well, you and I sure. could be good foils for each other. Oh, yeah. Like, very but yes, much you would so. be very good at being like the like oh, where'd they go? Hi. trying really hard to be the cool teacher. That's yeah, Listen. that's something you can do. <laughs> You would, it's, you know, it's not obviously time. What is poetry time. but rap? <laughs> Everyone come on up. I'm putting a beat down. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what right. Absolutely not. Oh my God. I helped my boss at her kids' talent show. And two kids beatboxed. Three kids beatboxed. Oh. There were three separate beatboxing acts? None of them were good at it. Well, No. <laughs> They were like, they just like took him. I went, <laughs> like, and then one of them then that. went on to break dance, and he was a very good break dancer. I have to say, mm -hmm. I appreciate this the school that you did this for. I appreciate their this school's approach to a talent show. Do whatever you want. That anything can be a talent. Mm -hmm. Just need a little show business. Absolutely. Yeah, that's exactly how you should do a talent show. Are you kidding? Like mm -hmm. some kid did a Rubik's Cube, and I was like, that's awesome. And that's yeah. a talent. He did it in under a minute. Wow. That, I can't do that. No! That's hard. All right. I'm going to throw these over here. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, that's 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 awesome.
Lismouche. These are beautiful. They in are. In their own little way. You are beautiful. You don't know you're beautiful. <laughs> uh oh. That's what makes you beautiful. Does everyone else sing to their food? <laughs> I'm gonna leave these guys and find somebody that's a little bit more appropriate from the size perspective. That was just a little bit like the beep beep in a magic school bus. <laughs> it's getting magic school bus. Beep beep. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. I thought that one looked good and then it was not. Yeah, I really think it's the silicone mats rather than yeah. the parchment paper. So, if you make these, do it on parchment paper. Oh, uh, that's interesting. Yeah. They just didn't want to come up easily. Well, these these are, you know, really tricky yeah. little, little guys. buggers. Yeah. Yeah. But, tasty, and, I mean, yeah, you know, if we did the thing. A more filling. Oh, are they done? Yeah. No oh. one. That's it. So oh, very chewy. Mmm. That's good. Mm. No, eat the one you have in your hand before you grab another one first. It'll just yeah. be better tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, no bowl. Mm. Good boy. Good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for me. Mm. Jamesy. So these are really chewy. Mm -hmm. They're probably just a little bit underdone. Jamesy with the good hair. Have mackerel. Mmm. Mmm. Stash, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a nice, like, subtle warmth mm -hmm. to it. Or something. I don't know how to describe the flavor. I like this because it has a little bit more filling than I. Mm. I mean, perhaps would too much. I will say the text. <laughs> I will say the texture of the actual ac actual of the cookie. cookie. The actual cookie is right. It's spot on. Oh, great! Great. We did it. We did do that. Haha. Uh -huh. Go team, right? Yeah, they were great. Yeah. Mm. You know what it is? It's that these are the type of cookies for me. Actually, I'm glad when they come in like smaller amounts. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. like this is very much a, I have one and I'm like, that was awesome. I do not need more of that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can't really binge these. <laughs> no. Hey, really, nailed the, really nailed the pistachio in that. Good job. Thank you. That's, ah. that's not easy to do. We did it. Enjoy your food, you dorks. Thanks, Dream. Mm, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where a Star Trek oh, replicator would come in dream. handy. <laughs> a Star Trek replicator would come in handy for so many reasons. I would like to partake in the macarons. Sorry about that. <laughs> Make your own. Let us know how they go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Dave says, for example, the episode where the kids get the iPad, Nat goes, and watch, they get one charger, and then they take out two, and Nat goes, oh, I was wrong. It's two. They're lucky. That's devastating. <laughs> What an indictment of our oh. school system. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those people that can uh, do it in seconds after just looking at a cube for a couple seconds has taught me. Oh, the Rubik's Cube. Yeah. yeah. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, and this kid, for his talent, he handed the uh, finished cube to someone in the audience to mess up before he That's began. crazy. So, showmanship. Showmanship. That's all, yeah. What are you guys doing over there? We're just scraping off the white yeah. background. What are you doing? Yeah. I was just wondering. <laughs> you guys were, like, I, 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 like, got the boy up and I couldn't see either of you on the <laughs> And I just heard you guys giggling and I was like, what are you, what's, what's up, guys? Lesson learned. Here's the thing. Or the humidity. 
could be also the humidity. Because it's raining. It is raining. Well, we did all the steps. Yeah. And, well, know. you know, the reality is, like, with macarons, it's similar to bread, I feel like, in that there's so much sauce. Something could have gone wrong that we didn't know that. it's so, yeah. Mm -hmm. A huge improvement from last time. <laughs> yes. These are... We would definitely say A plus improvement. Yeah. Most improved. Most improved us. Oh, hey, Wolvie. Welcome. We're just finishing up some macarons. Mm. Yeah. So what do you got going on this week, Kimberly? I don't know. No, this. <laughs> no. I'm technically on spring break, or a lot of my kids are, so I have Oh, a lot so you're doing a lot less. or nothing? I'm doing a lot of nothing. I'm doing, no, I'm doing um, a lot of things that I've put off. So like um, organizing projects and like, mm. you know, we changed the light bulb in our kitchen and we did, we tightened the hinges on our bathroom door, like just little yeah. <laughs> things that just haven't happened. Um, and I'm like trying to see friends that I have neglected because I haven't had time. And I yeah. went out last night at a 10 o'clock show because I was like, so I have late. no excuse. I had a little bit of excuse because I was coming here this morning, yeah. but I was like, ah. and then I ended up, they all finished, it was, it was late, and everybody was like, we're going to do shots, and I was like, I have to go. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Absolutely I'm not. I'm so tired, and I just, and I didn't want to be like the party pooper, and Hannah was like worried about me getting home, so, so she was like, well, I'll go with you, and I was like, no, really, like, stay with your boyfriend, have fun, do drinks, I'm going I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Yeah. It was, uh, I just couldn't do it. It's too much. It's too much. And I don't stay out late anymore. I just don't do it. No, neither Never. do I. We were out, we were home to relieve our babysitter at 10. <laughs> <laughs> See, I respect that. I think we were asleep by 11.30. <laughs> but I still have, awesome. it was great. Yeah. yeah it was that sounds perfect. I know. I'm oh, so really? glad. Aww. Yeah, because I kicked you and made you put your CPAP back on. Nope. Oh. There you go. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, poor Adam has been subjected to me having stress dreams again. Oh, no. And it's just, it's not like... Apparently I was doing that same, like... The breathing thing? Oh, no. Thing. Yeah, man, stress dreams. They're dramatic. Yeah, we had some some really interesting ones. In one of them, my parents, in like their they were like in their thirties, very like Bonnie and Clyde style. They were like Ooh. criminals, and they were trying to they like put an oxygen mask on me, and were just slowly lowering the oxygen. What? I was like, put, had my head in my pillow and like was slowly suffocating or something, or like what was going on? Do you remember your first nightmare? I do. I think I, I might have too. told what you was about yours? it. was uh, yours? It was, I was very young. Mm -hmm. I was three because my little sister was a baby. So I, maybe I was like three going on four, like in that range. Yeah. Um, and we were in the mountains, in the woods. And I was with my best friend from preschool, Elena Stern. And she sounds cool. She is cool. She's like still cool. We actually went to pizza like a few years ago. She like reached out on Facebook and was like, Do you want to hang? <laughs> yeah, this is great. Um, but anyway, she uh, she and I were like running through this forest, and my family I knew was like generally there. It's like we were all camping, but there was like also a known thing that there was a witch in this forest. <gasps> and we could see my parents at the top of this waterfall. And there was this like sudden, you know, like foreboding music, and we knew that the witch was coming, and so we hid oh, under this I don't tree know that with usually like usually a soundtrack in big, my dreams. Oh, I have very cinematic dreams. Um, <laughs> so there's this big like weeping willow tree <gasps> that we were hiding under, and then I remember the witch pulls back the like curtain of leaves and things, <gasps> and then she goes to Elena and goes like this. And that was magic. And suddenly Elena <gasps> was a witch. Thought that the witch was her mother, <gasps> and just turned to her and was like, "Mommy," and then wandered off. And so she's like hypnotized, and I'm running and trying to hide. And like the witch catches me, and does this thing. Oh no, no, sorry, she doesn't do it yet. I run up to the, her cabin, and she's in there. And Elena has disappeared, but she's in there with my brother and my sister, playing. And my brother and my sister are like 
zombies playing a soccer like pass game and then my little sister who's a baby at the time is in, a, in her crib and the witch goes to her and like picks her up and like cradles her because she like they clearly are hypnotized and I'm like no that's my family and then I can like see my parents at the top of this waterfall and like I, I know that they're like sad and looking for us and so then I try to run and the witch catches me and does the thing and then I look at her and go mommy and then like wander off to like be part of this and then I'm sitting there playing the soccer game with my siblings and like watching her cradle my little sister and then I can see at the window my parents are there and crying like it's the darkest and it was a recurring nightmare for like all of my childhood it was so bad terrifying I know it was very dramatic oh my god I just had a weird dream that I was in a WWE style fencing tournament <laughs> there were entrances and theme music and stuff that sounds awesome Wolvie <laughs> Mine was about a giant spider crawling up my chest. <gasps> oh. Oh, turns out it was more of a lucid dream. There was really a much smaller spider on me. Oh, no. <laughs> Few traumatized toddler me. That is horrifying. My first nightmare was me sitting in a high chair. Okay. And one by one, a family member would come out with a tray okay. of food. And I knew that one of them was trying to poison me. <gasps> but I didn't know which one. Okay. And I had to, like, decide... Which food to eat and not eat. Okay, oh. that's very stressful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who's poisoning you? Hmm. Grandma. Grandma? Oh. Yeah. Wow. The nicest of the bunch. <laughs> You're okay. You're fine, pal. Sometimes she's just gotta like. Do it. One more. <laughs> hey, baby. What? What, little bug? Yeah, that's fun, dude. That was 11 minutes. Also. Oh, okay. So it's definitely not going to be. Well, I'll see if I'm I know. Look good. God. This is so confusing. It's a little brown. Hot. And they don't taste overcooked, so it's no. not like they are overcooking. I wonder if it is a temperature. Alright, so I guess if the intern internal is not cooking enough, so that it's too hot. And the oven must be too hot, right? Yeah, that seems reasonable. I mean, this was a converted from Celsius to mm -hmm. Fahrenheit, but like 330 degrees. I guess maybe for meringue, usually it's low and slow. Let's look up another recipe. Yeah, let's, see. let's look at the one. Yeah. Glorious. Curious. I had a dream in college where me and some friends find an old video camera in our dorm and make some goofy videos. Six months later in real life, I have another dream where I go back, find the video camera, watch the videos, and relive that first dream. That's wow. Fascinating. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> Mine was about my dad turning into the old Lou Ferrigno Incredible Hulk. Right. <laughs> After that, I nicknamed him the Hulk, and after he passed away, I got a tattoo of the Hulk. I love that. Aww. I don't remember my nightmares as much, but my brain incorporates the people or places most present in my life. I had near constant scene shop, scene shop dreams at university. Oh, funny. 300 degrees for 20 minutes. Fascinating. Okay. Well, maybe I'll next time we'll, we'll lower it first time. But it's so funny because I did 330 in my oven and they were fine. Yeah. I mean, all ovens are different. And That's it's an true. electric oven. That's true. Yes. Yeah, but usually I feel like it's hot. not hot enough. Interesting. Like the thermometer in there says it's not even 330. Really? Yeah. What does it say it is? 300. Oh. Huh. Mysteries. Yeah, if anybody has expertise, please feel free to uh, lend it to us. <laughs> I swear I was not on anything illicit for either of them. I never am either. But sometimes things are just interesting. Con con ooh, continuation dreams are the weirdest because I can never tell if it was actually a second dream or just a time jump inside the one. Yes. Yeah. Those are interesting. Hi. <laughs> I know. He's funny noises. Little grunts. He's starting to like want to like let go when he's standing and balance oh. a little. He's getting pretty good at it. But today when he started doing 
is um like he like reaches up and then he puts his head down and he goes ah and he just balances with his head that's really fun <laughs> i don't know if my thermometer is accurate yeah yeah whatever you know there's only so much we can do yeah. when our tools are not reliable <laughs> Yeah. I mean, they still taste great. And they yeah. look fine. They've got the little foot. Mm-hmm. It's just a, they aren't peeling off the, the thing nicely. Yeah, but maybe if my oven is not hot enough, we needed to give them more time. Lots of time. Maybe. I don't know. So maybe they're just a little under then. Yeah. I mean, they do look a little bit under as yeah. they're dried. Like, just. Do you want to experiment? Just leave this one in for even longer. Yeah. I did 11. I just did four. Oh, okay. Maybe yeah. 15. Let's see. Yeah. <sighs> I think I'm going to try to uh, do like some evening hangs this week. Yeah, do I never it. get to do this. We'll see. <laughs> For a while, I would have this team where I wake up. Oh, wait, this dream where I wake up from a dream and try to turn on the light on my nightstand, but it won't turn on, and then I wake up again, and it happens until I really wake up. Oh, no. Huh. I have a lot of dreams of being late to go where I'm going that day. Yeah. Where, like, the car is going backwards or, like, up Ooh. a hill and then falls. Oh. Yeah, and, like, I can't get somewhere, like, Ooh. running uphill. Oh, that just made a little heart yeah. happen for me because I remembered uh, I have this dream of uh, driving the mountains and going, like, around a bend and going over a cliff. <gasps> Which is very scary. It's a very scary thing that really happens in real life. I mean, the bottom of the feet look a little brown. Yeah. I feel like they're closer, so let's just... Right. Give it another minute. Let's see. Who knows? Experimenting. The ones that get me are when I'm dreaming and then I know I'm in a specific place while also being completely aware that it looks nothing like it in real life. Yeah. That is trippy. What or like, are you making? <laughs> I think he's just going. Like, yeah, I think he yeah. is. Um, yeah, I like the ones where it's like you know the person, like you or it's supposed yes. to be this person, and it's just but a it's very much not. different. Yeah. Do you ever have dreams where like Adam is someone else, but he's Adam? I don't dream about Adam a lot. Oh, that's fascinating. I don't, I don't, like, I, I dream a lot of, like, childhood things. Oh, okay. Like, I'm always in my old childhood house or, like, Interesting. with my family and stuff. But, yeah, I don't have a lot of dreams with Adam. Oh. Hmm. I will get dreams. Like, I had a dream where I thought the whole dream was, like, oh, it's just, like, me reliving my wedding except just this random guy but, and, who's not Jay. And then all of a sudden, Jay was in my dream as my ex-husband. <gasps> oh, no. And I was like... <gasps> <laughs> yeah, that was a dream where you were just like, I just don't love you anymore. Oh, ouch. And I woke up and I was very upset. No. Still have dreams that I was signed up on Bonos Me for a class in college. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Or just dreams where, like, you show up on opening night instead of first rehearsal. Ugh. And they're Stressful. like, oh, great. Here's your script. Yeah. Good luck. Mm-hmm. Hi, Snorty. Hi. Hi. Gosh, you're very cute. I know. Look at that little face. (laughs) Chick says, wow, Dream Jay sucks. (laughs) Yeah, he does. Yeah. Adam had a dream about me that got him mad at me. Oh, Jay was mad at me for a whole day the other day because I was cheating on him in my dream. No. During his dream. (laughs) Let's see how it goes. so weird too. Oh, I mean that looks promising. All right, yes, I think they're ready. I think they're sticky to the the thing, but I think they're adhered. Yeah. Great. <laughs> you see what I mean? Like as it's trying to pull away it like takes the the part with it or it like yeah. tries to even though it's a oh, yeah, sticky. Like that. yeah okay great done we've done it we've done it everyone we've macarooned we've... and they're delicious they yeah. are genuinely delicious yeah.
It's not quite the prettiest. But they got a nice foot. Our foot looks good. Maybe they're also just a little too big. Yeah. That could be. Yeah. Well, we're going to keep experimenting. Yeah. And it was an improvement from last time, so I'm calling it a win. Absolutely. <laughs> Much improved. Celsius. All right, we did it. Yeah, we did do it. All right, everybody. Thank you for being with us today. Yeah, happy uh, Saturday. Happy Saturday. <laughs> uh, will we be back what, next week? We will, yeah? We haven't talked about it. We haven't talked about it. I might be getting my hair cut. Because oh. have you seen how long it is? Kimberly, I don't want to talk about it. Do you want to come with I me? I don't want to talk about it. <gasps> Down to my butt. Down to my boobs. <laughs> oh, man, well, your hair is really long. Man. I know. Oh, Look at this. Oh, you're turning into that one girl everyone knew in eighth grade. I was that girl. Oh, were you really? Did I ever tell a story? Okay, one last story and then we'll go. This is really embarrassing. And oh, I'm still no. teased about it to this day. When I was in 11th... No, when I was in 7th grade, James I was 11th. Really funny. Oh, boy. All right, all right. Um, my social anxiety was very bad. And also, I was very unaware that I had social anxiety. I just thought that everyone was as panicked as I was in a room full of people. And I went to the middle school that another feeder elementary school went into. So sure. I was the weird one. I was the outcast. Everybody knew everybody and I came in and I was just exactly how I am now, but also very like anxious and yeah. naive and bubbly. And we sat around in a circle in my English class and we were supposed to say our names and something interesting about ourselves. And when it got to me, I, don't know. I panicked and thought, okay, Nothing's interesting about me, but my older sister is so cool and everybody likes her. So I just got to like say somehow that I'm like her. So I said, my name is Amanda Nicholas and I have long blonde hair like my sister's. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and everyone was just like, okay. <laughs> Like, I just, I was so, I was just, I didn't know how to social. And I still, like, you know, social anxiety, it's a real it's thing. A thing. But also, like, as a small child, I just, and everyone's I like. I love my sister. Yeah. I don't get honey for breakfast. Mm. You sound like a homeschool kid. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we only wear skirts. Oh my god. Yeah, it was really bad. It was really embarrassing. Everyone, uh. Oh no. So, Katie, who I was talking about, whose her birthday yesterday, uh. Still, will occasionally just like, do you have long blonde hair? Is it like your sister's? Like, it's just, it has haunted me. I did make friends eventually. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so hope that makes you feel better about yourself today. And, uh, you know, if you have social anxiety like me, hey, we're okay. Everything's fine. People like us. Uh, take off an inch the first time to show it's okay. What? I let my oh, kid... Oh, hold daughter. on. Someone's daughter hasn't had their mm. first haircut and they're seven. I see, I see. Gotcha. I knew a girl in high school had hair down to her thighs because she wanted to. Okay, great. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, we love I'm you all. Let Thank you for baking with us. I'm going to let him sit. Sit. Let him sit. In the oven while it cools and maybe it'll get a little more oh, something to sure. dry out. We'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll keep you posted. We will keep trying to make amazing macarons. And one day we will. One day it. it'll work. It'll be so great. All right. Love Bye. you all. Happy Saturday. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. Where's the thing? <laughs>